snake. I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Welcome back, guys. This is Arnaldo, aka Mad Dog, and this is going to be the real episode 126 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. GG! Gather around the campfire and let me tell you a story of how the GG was born. Talk to me, brother. The GG was born back in 1984 with the awesome minds of Arnaldo Martin the <laughs> <laughs> second <laughs> decided to <laughs> I don't know at the young age of five at the young age of five <laughs> start a podcast yes <laughs> and you can, you can believe it it took that many years for it to come <laughs> to convince me <laughs> yes. yes and I come around and that of course that voice that you hear is the spectacular dream twister I AKA am spectacular David Santos. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome, sir. I think I'm eh, kind of like, sure, yeah. Yeah, well. Exactly. There yeah, you go. Yeah. That's a perfect, I'm a, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect description. Perfect description. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Everybody is, is, is more hard on themselves than, <laughs> uh, that's just the way it is. Meh. 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 If this is your first time listening, guys, this is the Mouthful Podcast. Mouthful Podcast is the premier podcast uh, for GG's The Mouthful. The uh, exclusive uh, GG podcast. group. Uh, it's actually, actually, if you go to goodgame.tech, it'll take you directly to that group. Join the conversation there. Uh, and please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. Uh, particularly your enemies, because that's that's who we're going for. Exactly. Yeah. Look how if if you notice how awful this is, <laughs> you're gonna want to <laughs> inflict you it on your share enemies. This with your enemies, because this is how it's like a sonic yeah. attack. Yeah. <laughs> of just pure unadulterated hate. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what we do normally is we start off with what we've been up to, move on to some news items, and then finally. Uh, end with our hot topic. The hot topic this week is, do we want Konami back in gaming? Uh, they technically have never left, but they haven't really produced anything. Yeah, a little they bit. haven't really um, been do we a re- proper. Yeah, do we want them back? Do we want them full-time making stuff, making life miserable for their employees? <laughs> not that I, one. I redact that because that's not proven. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that's been kind we of have, cool. yeah, we, there's no real proof of that, but... <laughs> Anyway, we'll get to that a little bit later in the show. Uh, but let's start with what we always start with, and that, sir, is what we've been up to. I really have absolutely nothing to add to this conversation. Ah. Other, other than I am currently one and one in my fantasy football league. Uh, this is the time of year, guys, that I uh, sacrifice uh, gaming time for uh, football, a little uh, American sport called football, not football. Football. Not football. <laughs> not football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not soccer, you know, as the Americans <laughs> call it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm one and one. This, so is the, this, is, this is the time of the year where he puts gaming in the backseat to this abomination of boredom. <laughs> boredom, my <laughs> ass. You were all stressed when you were doing it, my friend. It was not boring That's because you. I knew nothing about what, what I was doing. <laughs> Literally, no. You know what was great? It was the times that you would be in conversation with us. And because you're actually playing fantasy football, you're just trying desperately to just to, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, (laughs) oh, yeah. David Copperfield. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a good, yeah. He's a good, he's a good water boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) God, no. (laughs) Uh, He's a good quartermaster. Yeah. Yeah, Yes. Sure. (laughs) The quartermaster. He throws the ball. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, shaped like an egg. I face my wife this week, uh, so it's going to be home divided this week. Yes. <laughs> just, just to let you know. <laughs> Whatever happens, if you win, uh, you yeah, lose. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. No matter what, I, I will hear it. How, how can you not let me win? <laughs> I'm like, what? It's what not up of, to me. Yeah, man, it's, it's up not, to the cosmos. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Although I was projected to win. <laughs> and then a player of hers, like, blew his projections out of the water and, like, now I'm projected to lose. So uh, that's how it works, guys. Uh, but that's really all I've done. It, in all fairness, when I, did, when I was doing it, it was fun. It was fun. And, and of course, I, I'm being also a little hyperbolic. Football. I, I like watching the Super Bowls, for example. Mm-hmm. I like watching, you know, I like knowing about the, the you know, the end season. I just, I, I, it has never been, like, I'm not a huge fan of sports. I can appreciate them from afar, but if you start asking me, like, like when you guys talk and you're mentioning names and stuff like that and stats and it's like, that's that's a little bit too, too, uh, in you know, you know, inside, well, I was inside, say inside, inside baseball, inside of training. <laughs> that's, a, that's yeah. a little bit too much inside information that yeah. I really don't care about because these people are just playing to entertain me, and I don't, enough, I don't yeah. want to know about their injuries. For, or, uh, yeah. But when I was when I was playing, I did wanted to know about their yeah. injuries and, <laughs> their, to, and yeah. the projections and the stats <laughs> and everything. So I was like a maniac, like reading like freaking ESPN and and. and uh, and, and, and try to absorb all the information that I could. And, and you were very kind enough to uh, help me with the selections also. <laughs> uh, even when I was facing against you, uh, which I want to say, did you lose that, that game? I think I, I did. Or, I think I did, yeah. Yeah. So, I think so I did. It, it speaks to how well and how loyal loyal. You yeah. were uh, a, a friend. That I could have just told you, hey, uh, you know your star running uh, quarterback. Uh, you can trade him. There's this awesome kicker that uh, <laughs> yeah. out there. Dude, trade him. I, 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 I guarantee you'll get to. I'm gonna be like that. But you're the commissioner, so yeah. you gotta be fair. And oh, you were. have to be very fair. Yeah. yeah. And and for those uh, who don't know, the the Naldo's fantasy football, Matos fantasy football is the legit. Is the triple A. <laughs> this is where us. The stakes are high, yeah. literally, because yes. he, there's an entry fee. There is, yeah. and there is quite a pot of money to win. <laughs> yes, I don't uh, know if this is sanctioned or if we should be mentioning this. The well, I mean, come on, it's done all over the place. Um, <laughs> the uh, right now, because we have actually a large group uh, joining us, the first place pot is six hundred dollars. Jesus, so it's so you can clear your debt. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, by you know, you can guarantee uh, your PlayStation Five. Yeah, right? exactly. That? And a Wii, uh, not a Wii, a Switch, a Switch. To boot. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, depending on the price of the PlayStation. 5. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a, a, an awesome way to um, you know to pass the time when your team is just fucking losing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, if I, if my real team, Dallas Cowboys, can't fucking get out of their bullshit, whatever. <laughs> Uh, at least I can stick to my fantasy team. And, yeah. uh, it helps out a little bit. But that's really all I've been doing. I, I did beat Spider-Man. Yay! and um, we are So going, that's huge. That is huge. That, that is, is huge. Big, yeah. Uh, easily on the list for game of the year. Oh, that um, was without, as without if it was question. a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, there was a little question in the middle, but <laughs> I won't go I won't go too much uh, into that because we are going to have a spoiler cast on this. Ooh. Um, but, but don't was, worry, it's not gonna be right now or no, in the middle. Right we're we're gonna give you enough time to stop the podcast and bookmark it, you know, <laughs> so that you can come back to yes, it. Yes, come back to it. Save it in done. your phone or wherever it is you normally uh, store your uh, podcast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but no, overall, easily. Uh, I I finished it, and I was telling you uh, earlier. I I want to just go back and, and just keep playing. Just just continue everything. Yeah. I just love being Spider Man. And I think um, that's a feeling that a lot of people have. Apparently, it's uh, broke records, which we'll get into the news uh, about that. But uh, so, question: mm-hmm. Better than Homecoming? Better than Homecoming? The movie? The movie? The oh, story? Uh, this? Oh, the story? Yeah, because um, yeah, you can't compare. Is, is the game better than yeah, the movie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why I wasn't sure we were comparing. Yeah. Um, it, it, but it's difficult also because you have a much longer story within the game yeah. uh, than you do actually in the um, in the movie. Although I still think I still think the movie is very 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 awesome, um, and this, I like the story even though the story is low stakes. You know yeah. what I mean? I get it. Um, but it's a perfect the movie Homecoming is a perfect story for the early Spider Man. Mm. What leads to his major issues later on, which mm. you essentially run into in the game, you know, because he's he's been Spider Man now for a long time. Yeah. Um. 
Anyway, great game. All I've been doing. Sir, what have you been up to? Oh, man. You're, this is going to be the shortest what have we been doing <laughs> that we've ever had. Yeah, no. Yeah. Because in all honesty, that was that you know, that was me. I I, I beat Spider-Man uh uh as well and it will like I went, <laughs> first off, I had to come clean. I was saying uh last week that I was enjoying, you know, I was enjoying the gameplay of Spider-Man, but somehow the story wasn't really grabbing me. Well, let me tell you, it gets to the point where it grabs you and it grabs you with an iron fist and it shakes you and it doesn't stop until it finishes. I summarily enjoyed this, uh, this game, you know, this story, the 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 it, the entire thing and of course we're gonna go into these on the on on the podcast and I hope you guys give it a chance I know there's a a lot of uh good games you know out there uh right now that you know came out recently that you're playing mm-hmm. you know uh, and you they got, are coming out too and they yeah. and then they are they're coming yeah exactly you know a, a lot of people are excited about you know Red Dead Redemption yeah. and you know Tomb Raider has its fans and and you know people that are you know that are like Destiny I've been playing Destiny. I actually did play a little bit of Destiny, but uh, but this game, but it shouldn't it, it shouldn't don't put it on the back burner thinking ah oh, you know that I I could get it you know when it gets what's on a sale yeah mm-hmm. yeah when it I mean sure yeah, if that's you your can, plan yeah. but I mean, this is one of those games that you don't want spoiled correct yeah if money dictates it it is what it is you know yeah. just avoid. As much as possible because it's really uh, worthwhile to to experience yeah. the story. Yeah, this is one of the pillars of this year. Yeah. If, oh, yeah. If yeah. 2018 was to be defined by the games that came out and and you're thinking, man, that God of War was amazing like I was, you know, like like I like, well, like I am. Uh, I obviously think God of War is amazing. But yeah, Spider-Man so far is my game of the year. <laughs> so far. Hands down, <laughs> hands down. I super, super, super enjoyed it. Uh, more to say when uh, we get to the to the spoiler cast section. But uh, I did play uh, a little bit of Destiny Two, and I, I, I mean, I'm. What, do you play, and, what mode you play? Uh, uh, well, I play, I played the campaign. I finally realized what was the problem that I was having with the campaign. Okay. I remember I told you that I, I was concerned that somehow. Uh, the game had bugged on me where it wouldn't give me a mission to do. Oh, okay. It turns out... Which is what I think it was doing to me, by the way. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. yeah. In, in perhaps, I, I don't remember. I think in your case, you just hop a planet and, and then you'll find more missions. In my case is that I had to do... I actually had to do some... Uh, bounties for okay. for this for this new character, you know, that, 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 you, that you befriend, basically. Okay. And like I've always seen bounties as optional content that you don't you know you, you, I, like I don't have to do if I don't want like same way I don't do patrols a lot you know but it turns out that yeah you needed to complete you're at least five here. of them you know require them and they're not hard honestly it was it it took me probably like fifteen minutes to complete them all you oh know? okay oh uh, so, so you're not spending too much time no you're not spending too much time you know on them I thought it was gonna be lengthy stuff but it by in, in 15 or 20 minutes, I was already prompted to continue the mission. So I was like, oh, okay, good. Side of relief. Because <laughs> Thank I don't God. Want, oh. I don't think I'm going to play. <laughs> my, my Because I even posted on the phone, like a stupid newbie. Um, uh, I posted like, hey, uh, I'm stuck in this part. And <laughs> I don't know what to do next. Oh, wow. What, is somebody, see, somebody said, oh, you idiot, go here. <laughs> no, not even. Because, I mean, the death... If you go to the official Destiny forums mm-hmm. and you post a, a question, you know, a question, I guess it's either that there are so many people that your question just get drowned, mm-hmm. or the community is savvy enough already where the one the people that know don't care to spend time to to let you know. You yeah. know, they're just. I'm not here to say that the, the Destiny community is as volatile and hostile as say an Overwatch, you know, or something like that, but. They're also not the most helpful, yeah. I would say, with a few exceptions. That's why when I when I paired up with uh, with uh, with Danny, Danny, I had a mm-hmm. I, I had a blast because he was mad cool. He was like all leveled up, all tricked out, and he didn't mind spending time with me. And he even sent me like a, like a, the other day he he sent me a, a message on on the Blizzard chat thing that it also had. 
if I, that if I needed help with something else, and I was like, "Oh, oh no, I appreciate cool, it, yeah. man. I'm playing, I'm playing uh, Spider Man now, but <laughs> but I appreciate. It. I intend to go, to jump back. So I did jump back, and dude, I I am I keep being impressed with the quality work that they've done with the expansion. As far as the the story goes, uh, it keeps me invested and interested enough. And and granted. This is in in the case of this expansion, it's a little bit more work. Uh, it's a little bit more more work was put into the story mm-hmm. that I will say even the original Destiny Two. So in Destiny Two, you're not gonna feel that. Also, the expansion is a little bit more, you know, it's, it's smaller and more, uh, you know, more more concentrated. Mm-hmm. So you're constantly, you know, you get almost every mission has a you know a cutscene of sorts, and and you're going from here to there, and and you 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 get a, a concise. Uh, very concentrated. Yeah, good story. Uh, the pacing is much. The pacing uh, is yeah. a lot tighter. Yeah. Sorry. So, so I'm not saying you're gonna experience the same thing with with Destiny the Two Vanilla. Yeah. Oh, I'm or, I'm sure I'm not, and 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 that's not to put it down in any way. I'm just saying I'm, I'm sure. No, I already know what what I, my expect uh, expectations are at a certain level too. Right. To, right. Know, so. so 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 yeah, I I I intend to continue playing. Let's see how far I get. I probably I'll finish. You know, I'll, I'll finish the campaign mm-hmm. and then see if I'm interested in actually continuing because I also don't want to fall into. The thing of grinding or oh, I need Indesic? to I need to be yeah, the grinding too much. <laughs> okay. I know, I just laugh. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no, uh, I'm, I'm I'm saying like I'm saying, I'm saying getting to the getting to the top and then starting the grind to towards a little bit better gear, better. That part is not my favorite of, of Destiny. Of Destiny, the part where Makes oh, sense. you finish you finish the 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 campaign and you are level five hundred, but you got to be five hundred and thirty if you want to do. The 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 raid. The, yeah. Oh, the raid. And yeah. just to give you an example, I don't. I not. I think those are the numbers, but I could be wrong. But now, so now I have to be repeating strikes and repeat and doing you know gambits or doing this constantly so I could get the number up little by little, little by little until I am at a semi decent level, just so that the next expansion blows all that away because then it's like. Who cares? <laughs> Your super, super, super shiny, beautiful helmet is worth crap because the next expansion, your green or or your blue, is gonna be more powerful than yeah. than your souped up uh, exotic. It's but the those, carrots, man, the those carrots are, at the end of yeah, the stick. Yeah, those are those are that, that's the nature of of MMO. I'm not, and I'm not throwing, you know, I'm not dissing anything on on this thing. That's just mm-hmm. that's it is what it is. Yeah. You know. So, but yeah, other than that, uh, every now and then I will refresh again the Forza Motorsport oh for de- a demo. <laughs> it's because that demo, it, it, it's, a, it's beautiful. The pre- at least the presentation, at least the intro. Sometimes mm-hmm. I will just play the intro. Mm-hmm. And then after the intro, you get to play all the three or well, four races. But, but I stopped there because all, all, all I want to see is the transition. And it's a short intro. Mm-hmm. It's like a like a... Seven or ten minute race, no, well, not even maybe, maybe shorter. But uh, but the transitions and all the things that you do, it looks so rad. It looks so cool that it got me super pumped, super excited. I got paid today. I I am putting the, I am putting the hundred dollars on it. <laughs> oh, wow. I am going for 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 the for the big one. Uh, so just so I can play it on fri on the Friday. This, is next, it this Friday? Oh, no, the, the following. The following. Hmm. Uh, oh no! I guess it'll be this Friday. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus I'm sorry. Christ. I'm sorry. We're having seven this days again. from today. Seven days from today. There you go. <laughs> so, so for the record, if you don't know what this is, guys, <laughs> no, we have we, we, <laughs> we have a little thing about when you say this Friday or next Friday. Yeah. So right now we are on Friday. So when I say this Friday, <laughs> to me is this Friday that we're on. <laughs> Because we are on Friday, so it's either the one I'm touching right now, or the next Friday will be the the one the Friday that is not right now. Well, that could be the case. So on a Wednesday, if I say this Friday, on a Wednesday, if it's this Friday, I guess it'll be this coming this Friday. Friday. Except that I will say, uh, I, except that I will say. No, this coming Friday. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's coming. <laughs> We're not on Friday today, yeah. so it can't be this. That was the problem. Yeah, you'd be like, no, not this Friday. You can't, this coming Friday. You can't point <laughs> at a car in the distance and say this car. You have to say that car. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Not a coming car. <laughs> now we're talking this apples and oranges. <laughs> Are oh, we? Man. Uh, this man. orange or the coming? Oh, that the, orange. That orange. Oh, okay. This coming orange. Oh, okay. So, yeah, man. I, I guess... I guess it was just Spider Man today. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, needed yeah. to beat it. We, we needed to finish it. Yeah. It was. I mean, I, 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 I've, I've, I, well, for the most part, I felt like you were done with it. I was like, well, we got to get the spoiler cast going. So let me, let me uh, grind. Yeah, on you it, booked you know, it. You know. uh, well, I didn't book it because I was close to the end, and yeah, I figured that. End, I was yeah. like, I think I am pretty close to the end. You can kind of tell with the story. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure I'm there. So I just kind of stuck to the main missions, and I still did some side stuff like i sh- yeah. i probably would have finished a little earlier if i didn't just go oh okay something's happening wait a minute something's yeah. happening yeah. yeah it's your sense of my heroes. city needs me let me go <laughs> <laughs> let me go save this uh but no yeah so that's yeah so that's all we've been doing then yeah war is a universal language i know a renegade soldier when i see one never occurred to me that one might come from above And we are back, guys. I'm going to go right into our trailer of the week. Trailer of the week. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I will call her. <laughs> wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. I don't remember the rest. Yeah, yeah you got it. I don't know the last part either. But, uh, well done, sir. That was a great well song. It was. Yeah. Not anymore. Skilo? <laughs> No, you still uh, Skilo? Yeah, I think it's Skilo. Skilo, yeah, yeah. One hit who wonder, knows, was it? Who who knows the name of the? Who guys? knows this right. mumble yeah, rapper? Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, yeah. No, that's <laughs> definitely he's not. He's super old. Yeah. He's super old school. He's, yeah. Uh, trail of the week, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw it. I don't know how you could have missed it. <laughs> Captain Marvel, of course. Literally, Marvel just put in their name right on the movie. Right? Yeah. Well, at that point, <laughs> it's like this is marvelous. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so we saw the trailer. It is the it's coming out in March of twenty nineteen. March twenty nineteen. Yeah. Um, what do you think, sir? Uh, I'm in love with Captain Marvel. Oh, the 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 the, the actress that that Bart, Bart like Larson. I, I had I I. And again, this is just my fault. I don't follow uh, uh, the actors, or I don't know a lot of their names and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Where have I seen her? Because I feel like I've seen her. Maybe you see, if you saw Skull Island, she was in Skull Island. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yep. Okay, there you go. That's it. All right. All right. So, so yeah, she was so cool in that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the, 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 the trailer, yeah. and, and which I was a little bit uh, surprised because it's it's a really good trailer in the sense that. It doesn't share it, it like it doesn't show a lot of the movie. Correct. It doesn't. It so show, my wife I mean, actually it does give you the time period. That yeah, you're like, yeah. It, it says that, yeah. it says the time, and you see the character, and mm-hmm. you see kind of a little bit of exposition, but it's not the type of trailer that gives you like the explosions and the big and, and pretty much the plot of the movie Correct, at that yeah. point. And to the point where my wife saw the saw the trailer, she she was left like. Okay, so where's the trailer? Yeah. What happened? I was like, <laughs> she's so used to being spoiled because that because yeah. that's what trailers nowadays are. And they, and unfortunately, they did that. Marvel tends, especially Marvel, tends to do this a lot with their trailers. They normally do, and I, and I would I would argue one thing. They normally do it with their second, third, fourth trailer uh-huh. or final trailer. Uh, normally, the very first one that they show is not always. Uh, as well, I mean, actually, most of the time it's 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 nothing. Oh, so it's, it's, it's just enough it's, for you like this, where it's just enough of the information to oh, know. Oh, okay. You know? So this this might be following an old pattern that I still haven't grasped. But yeah, if, if that's the case, this shall be the only trailer that I watch. Then ditto. Yeah, I'm yeah. not watching anymore. Yeah, this is um, enough. I it, yeah. it explains enough. But it it, yeah, I I am super stoked. Uh, I am interested on on because i know nothing because i've never followed the the comics either mm-hmm. so. well i mean i follow i follow some marvel comics but i'm not very uh well versed in in Vers- his, captain marvel marvel's uh history the only story that i know of captain marvel which is actually pretty hilarious because that's all a meme for it the only actual story i know is that rogue from the X-Men, x-men uh basically i don't know if she, she i don't think she killed her but she held on to her for so long that she absorbed her power. Rogue? And Rogue, yeah. So Rogue in the comics can uh-huh. fly, can and she's like indestructible and all this. And she oh, wasn't crap. born that way. She took that from... She absorbed her Oh, wow. So that was... Um, 
and I think it was uh, Captain Marvel. Is it Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel? Uh, but I think, or maybe it could be the same for all I know. Yeah, um, I, it's one of those two. But the meme yeah. was was that it showed uh, um, Brie Larson kind of turning back, looking backwards mm. at the top, and she's like, "Who's this?" And then, <laughs> and then, and then you see Rogue from the X Men films, uh. like, "Come here," you know. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, that's You're hilarious." Just away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's pretty fun. That's about the only thing I know about uh, Ms. Marvel. Um, as far as the, the the trailer goes, obviously you can tell immediately. They just threw it at the beginning just so you know what time period we're in. Yeah. Blockbuster video. <laughs> you know, it's just like, what the hell? You know? I know. Like, come on. That was hilarious. Um, it was pretty funny. But what was even more funny was Samuel Jackson or uh, Nick Fury. Oh, what Nick, the hell? Like young he was, Nick Fury. Yeah, he was at the time machine here. I don't know how this works. They, but but, yeah, some sorcery. I was going to say they you could you could see that they digitally manipulated his face. They must have because oh, yes. it's not just oh let's put you know let's put let's put black hair on the bald guy. Yeah, yeah. And then that's his you know that, that makes him younger. No. His face. He actually yes. looks like a, a, he a looks young like he did back Samuel in- Jackson. In the 90s, like literally yeah. he did in the 90s. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah, I, know. I mean, Marvel has has uh, experimented with this uh, mm. in several of his movies. They did it with Robert Downey Jr. in Civil War when mm. uh, it was a young a young um, Stark. And you see him and I'm like, holy crap, this looks yeah. just like him from, um, from a bunch of movies back in the day. Yeah. You know, I'm like, damn, they really made it happen. So I don't know, man. Hollywood's a little scary with this shit. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, the, the, the way they can make make someone look so. I mean, he. They, I mean, Samuel Jackson looks literally like he did back in these old movies, and I'm like, yeah, very impressed. I was, very, very, yeah, I, I was, I was very impressed. I hope it looks as clean as that throughout the whole film, because if there's mm-hmm. one issue, is at some points it can look a little funny. Oh, they also show mm-hmm. Agent Coulson, who also looked young. Really? Uh, yeah, it was a, a brief moment. He t- I think he t- takes off his glasses. He's like, I did not the, notice yeah, that. Yeah, I saw. Wow. As soon as I saw, I was like, Agent Coulson is back. Oh shoot, young oh, Agent yeah. Col- yeah, Coulson. Yeah, wow. I'm with that young Agent Coulson. Yeah. I did not. I I completely missed that part. That's and I think that's why I'm most excited about this. This obviously has a lot of Shield uh, involvement or whatever Shield is at that point. Mm-hmm. And to me personally, whenever Shield was involved, it felt a little bit more grounded. Grounded, yeah. And that's why to me, I think Winter Soldier is probably the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, best of the marvels it was always really grounded uh for that to to know that that's kind of the, the angle they're coming with i'm yeah. like yeah i'm down i'm down. yeah, and yeah. of course it's gonna have its it has the scrolls which you saw those guys with the weird ears you know i'm like okay well obviously it's gonna have some fantastical elements to it but yeah uh, it's still I, i'm pretty interested i'm i'm, I'm pretty interested and 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 it gets me uh, even more excited about the uh well, the, the, it, it, seeing what her role will be, because obviously she will obviously be on the you know on the next Avengers movie, correct? You know, yeah. Of this, you know that whatever is it that is called and wh- whatever Do close. Do they not have this, a name yet? Part two? No, part, yeah, it's probably yeah, probably <laughs> Avengers Part two. Yeah, Ava- Avengers exciting. the second snap. <laughs> but well, how's it gonna work? That work out now. So we're gonna have two captains. The yeah, pretty much. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, or, let, or or Captain America is going to be he promoted to General America now. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, let's be real. He 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 was not really a captain. He was literally <laughs> oh, a private. Well, you know. He came out of uh, basic training, and suddenly he's a captain. He's okay. So did he so really? That's go, what she's going to. You're he not really, really a captain. Yeah. <laughs> you get demoted back. <laughs> you know what? I would be surprised if they bring, bring that up. And you're not really a captain. I've, <laughs> I've read the records, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I cover wars, you know. Yeah, I know. Really. I, perhaps, but I was involved directly with taking down Hitler. And yeah. I, you know, oh, yeah well. I punched them like a hundred times. Let's be real. <laughs> wow, what an honor. Yeah. <laughs> I know, for real. Uh, so, yeah, that's Captain Marvel, guys. <laughs> that's yeah. our trailer of the week. I'll go ahead and post it on the uh, post for this March episode. 19. March. Mark your calendars. Yes, uh, and it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, our first news topic, guys, is hot off the presses, uh, which actually was brought up by Mr. Santos. So if you want to actually jump in on it, because I literally just found out this is ago. this yeah this was uh, this was breaking uh, at the time that the I realized. Hold on, I forgot that I was not right. <laughs> okay, read later. Here we go. So so yeah, this is kind of. This is kind of sad, actually. Uh, so, Telltale's, uh, which you guys know from all the Telltale games that have come out, uh, their major 
hit being the Walking Dead mm -hmm. a series and countless of other properties that they you know too that many. they got. Yeah. So I'm gonna say too many. Well apparently they did end up biting a lot more the Dickie Shoe and unfortunately they are closing. At the time that I realized uh, that 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 I saw the news, it there were it was whispers. It was still like not I mean, sort of confirmed rumors, but nothing had been announced officially from it. But once I got home and I double checked, they had updated. Telltale had a, a post, uh, a Twitter uh, a post with an image of uh, basically the letter, you mm -hmm. know, saying. Yeah, yeah. So, so it goes that Telltale is the makers of The Walking Dead Adventures and several other episodic series uh, laid off uh, many of its developers today. And, uh, well, they say they might be shutting down. I think I, I, I uh, bookmarked the, the old news. They confirmed, uh, that they, that they, uh, closed down, unfortunately. Uh, I'm they, not, they did close out? Yeah, yeah. They say, uh, I'm like, not, wait, they they're shut closed? down. They, sh they're shut. Well, hold on. Oh. They have, well, actually, I, ahead, I'll go, finish go, it go, because go. there's an update. Actually, I just realized there's an update here. It says, Telltale sent uh, Kotaku, this is via Kotaku, uh, a statement confirming that all but 25 employees were let go from the studio as part of a major studio closure wow. following a year uh, marked with, uh, following a year marked by unsurmountable challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that was the quote. Uh, the small group that remains will fulfill the company's obligation to its board and partners. Uh, so the 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 company CEO uh, Peter uh, Howley mm -hmm. uh, also issued the following statement. Uh, he said, "It's been incredibly, it's been an incredible difficult year for Telltale as we work to set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time to get there. Uh, we we read some of our." Best uh, best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback, but it ultimately uh, did not translate to sales. With a heavy heart, we watch our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. Wow. Uh, end quote. That so, is, yeah, that's real, dude. Yeah, it, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of it's kind of shocking because. Like I was, I did not think that they were on that, you know, that they, they, they had that, you know, water up to their necks, no, only you know, so to speak. You know, I was thinking that they, they, I mean, they had projects in mm -hmm. the works. They, they're in the middle of the the third, the third uh, season, season yeah, of, of Walking gonna, Dead. Yeah, well, uh, I was just reading, uh, you know, recently that those projects might be canceled. And the future ones, yeah. We might yeah. not get a finish uh, Walking the, Dead? for Walking Dead. Yeah. That is insane, man. That is insane. But I mean, it's, I mean, while it is shocking, it's not 100% unexpected. I mean, because they were taking on a lot of uh, projects. And I uh, we were talking about it before where I said, you know, they again fell for the lightning in the bottle with The Walking Dead. Walking Dead season one was amazing. It came out at a time when The Walking Dead was like in full swing with, with the comic uh, book the there. Yep. and the uh, and the show and everything was just like everybody wanted Walking Dead, um, and they came out with this amazing uh, five part uh, series, and that's what blew them up. And suddenly they were getting accolades left and right, and 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 boom, that people were bringing stuff. Hey, can you make this? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, and they really took on too many projects, and I can I, to an extent understand. You know, not wanting to say no to business, but at the same time, you got to know the levels of what you can handle. And obviously, well, my understanding you know, was that they were also aggressively pursuing. pursuing? You know, oh, getting, so that's getting. even worse. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so, because that company grew like very, very fast. Yeah. And and, and uh, they have so they, they have all this project going along and some of, you know, some of them will be released and. Because they were using the same formula, oh, yeah, it, it, they nice. were not, that, and I feel like that was the, the 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 major problem. It's just like you said, it was like the first time you play a, a, a game like Walking, you know, like Walking Dead. That that style is really cool because it's a great way to deliver a story. I'm sorry. It has interactive. Uh, it was different. Element. It was a different way of delivering a zombie story in a game. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at no point were you ever focused on the story of a zombie game because you were just shooting zombies. Yeah. you know what I mean. And here it wasn't just about that, you know. And 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 neither yeah. was the Walking Dead the show, but no, yeah. exactly. Exactly. And I feel like uh, 
the 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 focusing on the on the human aspects of it just like it, just like the the story uh and in the in the series mm -hmm. helped this uh along and it give it gave the it gave you the impression that your decisions matter that you were actually making decisions that 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 had an impact on the story even if in the reality of it all it was just smoke and mirrors it, yeah. it never really you know and that's a shame i mean that that obviously extent. Obviously, that's just mismanagement, you know what I mean? And it's a shame that they would go through. And, I and I'm, I'm sure that, you know, these guys are going to, and I hope they get, you know, the ones who got let go, get on their feet and, and, and join another studio. And oh, yeah, there's a lot of great talent there yeah, that I have no doubt absolutely. they're going to be. But it's still a shame because that puts kind of an end to, you know, a lot of people will say, well, a stale type of uh, a game. But at the same time, I was hoping that they, they were going to make that comeback with the final season and the new engine that they were Oh, uh, yes, they, they were actually yeah. working on, on it, but but it, it, it was time for them to to spread out into something different. Different, because the problem is, yes, you were you base you already had a template mm -hmm. to make games, but it when it was that template was getting old. Even with even with series that once you have been excited to hear they were coming, like like uh, the 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. uh, Like uh, Game of Thrones, Batman, uh, like Batman, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I, I did the story yeah, coming out like, of it sounded like it was gonna be, like it's like it is because it, it got released. Like it is really interesting, but it's put on this this on mold this engine that not running very and well. And the engine that's not the like, same typical. Okay, you really it, yeah, your path to how you get there can be different from everybody mm -hmm. else's, but you're all going to get to the same spot, yeah. you know what I mean? So it was it was the same it was the same uh, uh trick, you know what I mean? It was the one trick pony and they were yeah. constantly doing it and trying everything. The Minecraft one. The Minecraft the, one, the, the Borderlands the, one. Although I would argue that the Borderlands one is probably one of the best right under Walking Dead. Seriously. Yeah. It is easily one of their best. I yeah. love that one. Um I never laughed so much in a fucking game. I, I can't <laughs> I can't tell you right now. And it's shocking because it's not like you were a fan of the Borderlands the, uh the uh, actual you know the lore or the <laughs> Oh, the games itself. They, yeah, well, I I've never think... played any of them, so I, I yeah. have no clue what what it is. And my understanding is, and that's I think why I well, one, it was free on play, PlayStation Plus, but two, the reason I even bothered starting it is because people we were like, you don't need to know the game to yeah, appreciate no. this, and they're absolutely right, you don't need to. Yeah. Uh, and so, but those were their their pinnacle moments of of, of that particular game, but. After that, I mean, it was just okay. The next one's not so well, good. Well, some argue that so even that choice of even, even the cho like doing a for Minecraft and and the yeah. Borderlands. Some might argue like, okay, that's cool that you did, but was it necessary? I mean, just because that's an again they were trying and not, they were grabbing everything. Yeah, they were grabbing as much as they yeah. can and trying to make you know gold out of all of them. You know what yeah. I mean? And you can't. You know what I mean? And and by the time they got to Game of Thrones, it was like. Oh, I did not yeah, play. I, I was a big, you know, I, and I mean, I am a big fan of Game of Thrones, and I did not play the Game of Thrones one. I could not get. I, I got the one first or two, episode. That's it. But you did the first episode, yeah. and you were like, you had your feel. I just, I didn't like the art style. They didn't. They were going with this weird really? oil painting art style of everything. Everybody, every like the oh. character. The character would stand here, but the background in the end almost looked like it was an oil painting moving. And I'm like, oh, why? Are they, why would you go? I mean, don't be wrong. I appreciate you trying new things, uh -huh. but whoa, that really did not work. And then again, the game chugged, and the story was, mm, you know, and yeah. it was, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but again, it wasn't, it wasn't their best. It was, it, and, and, and it was one. Of, well, I heard it was one of those where, uh, actually, no, not not. I heard. I'm sorry. I saw proof that it was one of those where your decisions literally did not matter. Yeah, yeah. You Because know. Well, again, with the property. You can't change anything. Yeah, you know, no. they were like, "You're not going to be able to change it in this world," no. which is why they did. You can't House, kill Cersei if you House, wanted to. Correct. Right. Like, you, it, House Forrester was who they were using, and it's like it didn't matter. I you didn't were, remember who they were. House Forrester was a, one of the one of the northern houses. Yeah, uh, and it didn't matter. It didn't yeah. matter because in the end, what's going to happen? You yeah. guys are you guys. If you know the story of 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 uh, the, the show, uh -huh. you know that. No one in North matters other than the Boltons <laughs> and the Starks. So who cares about the Foresters? You this, know what yeah. I mean. So this is not this is not the Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. the Game of Thrones. You know, this actually, is, this is that, yeah. got him. Uh, But yeah, not too sad. Shame, yeah. yeah, that's a shame. It's very uh, yeah, it's a shame. I, I, and we just, literally just came out today. But this uh, next piece here was going to be the, <laughs> the main uh, uh, news item, but 
Uh, and I'm going to say it anyway. Sony announces a PlayStation Classic, the $100 mini PS1. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's one. I forgot about it. Yeah. Did you? Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I am kind of having, uh, and I realize this is just me, but I'm having uh, cla- you know, those mini t- console fatigue. Like, I'm not caring because I know what's going to happen. Let's say I get it. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool piece. If somebody gives one, gift me one of those, I'll be a stack. You know, it's oh, awesome as a cool piece. But it will literally sit, you know, in a place as a showpiece. I am never gonna boot it up and play, you know, the, the old games because why? You know, why would I? You know? <laughs> well, I have a lot to add on that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, real quick, let me get through the uh, story. I so pre-ordered it. The no. Twice. <laughs> Uh, like Nintendo's, this is uh, off of Polygon, by the way, guys. Like Nintendo's NES Classic and Super NES Classic, the PlayStation Classic will come packed with a list of beloved hits from the original system's uh, library. There will be 20 games in all, but Sony has only announced five of them uh, so far, which is Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. As if we can't play that everywhere else. Jumping, <laughs> yeah, j- uh, jumping Flash. What? Uh, R4, Ridge Racer, Tarp, uh, Type nice. 4. Ridge Racer! <laughs> yeah. You know I have to do it. Of I course, just have yeah. to do it. Uh, Tekken 3 nice. and Wild Arms. Okay. okay. So those are the so five those so are, far. Yeah. Those are, you know, those are definitely Respect- more respectable. interesting. Yeah, yeah they're respectable. respectable. Yeah. Uh, all the, all Although all the, I don't know what that jumping... Me either. Jack Flash. But that's Is that the one with Whoopi Goldberg? The, the Jumping Jack Flash may be uh, the one with Whoopi Goldberg, but not the Jumping Flash. That's the one where they couldn't afford Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Correct, exactly. <laughs> jumping Flash. Jumping Flash. This is the, uh, the uh, straight-to-video version. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Sony plans to launch the PlayStation Classic worldwide December 3rd. Uh, 20, which is the 24th anniversary of the original PlayStation release in Japan. Uh, it will retail at 99 U.S. dollars. Uh, for that 99 pr- U.S. dollars? U.S. dollars. <laughs> for that price, customers will get the system, two controllers, the game pads uh, are full-size replicas of the original PlayStation 1 controller. Oh, wait a minute. So, no dual sh- not dual shock? No dual shock. No stick? No stick, no vibration, oh, no nothing. Oh, wow. Just the way it was when the first one came out. Oh, well, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Yes, it does. Um, All right. I, I, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. And I'm making it official. You can mark down the time right now. Mm-hmm. If this PlayStation Classic, if of the five games they haven't announced. 15. Oh, fi- oh that's right. There, there's 15 <laughs> yes, more. All exactly. right. Okay. So there so even go. more chances are yeah, happening. Exactly. Okay. At some point, one of these has so, to hit. Yeah. So if one of them... Is wipe out twenty forty seven, okay, or, or wipe out Excel, okay. I'm getting this <laughs> this just, just for those ones. Just for those ones, <laughs> I am getting that. Okay. The, I, I, they will have my money. Yeah. This well, is, this are this, I modded so many PlayStations to be just able to play that. <laughs> nice. Uh, for me personally, when this uh, story uh, first came out, dude, it was here's my money. I take it. I'm paying for it right <laughs> really? now. Really? Yes. It was without a doubt. I'm doing it. Really? Um, wow. Unfortunately, as time passed, my senses came back. <laughs> <laughs> you know Thank I mean? goodness you didn't have your wallet back right Correct, next to yeah. you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I mean, it would have been... It was an like, impulse was, buy yeah. right there. Um, although, thank God for Amazon not charging you. Until that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but, but, um, God bless them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, however, when I sat and thought about it, I was like, okay. And, of course, they only have five games. Mm. Regardless, they only have five games. The, the games that they have are early 3D, which... While yes, classic, mm. sure, those have not aged very well. Yeah. Okay, and to, to literally think that, let's say for instance, um, a lot of people are expecting Metal Gear Solid, the first Metal Gear, which to be frank, if it's not part of the collection, it's a waste of money. It really is because when you think of a it classic be, PlayStation yeah. Four, there's no reason why the Metal Gear Solid is not shouldn't be. And included. it's not like Konami will not want your money. Of course, exactly. You know? Which could be why it's a hundred dollars for the record. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, that and of course, there's also a lot of licensing. I'm sure involved mm-hmm. with a yeah. lot of these games because once they went went into uh, CD-ROMs, mm-hmm. they were able to, you know, a lot of these games got licensed music and stuff like that. So there's a lot of price in the background. Which oh, I get. Yeah. I, oh, but 
The only, well, not the only, but one of the main reasons I, I'll, I'll, I'll get the white is because of the soundtrack. Oh, exactly. That's what I'm if saying. If I don't yeah. get that soundtrack, then come on. Exactly. It's not the game. Exactly. Oh, that's, so, that's the, <gasps> Tony Hawk. Yeah. That's like got to be there. Like I said, Met, to, Metal Gear Solid, uh, uh, the first Metal Gear Solid, uh, t- Tony Hawk, uh, t- uh, t- that one, Pro Skater, uh, yeah. Tony Hawk's. I was um, going to say Tekken Tag Tournament, but I guess. We Tekken, get Tekken in 3 already, yeah, so that's fine. They're not going to double up on that. Yeah. Um, there are some some absolute class. Castlevania, Sympathy Night has to be there. Oh, it's, God, yeah. yeah. Just, why would that not be included? Hello. And oh. it makes me wonder a little bit because Castlevania, Sympathy Night has recently been said to be, that that's going to be brought to, um, although it's a rumor, it's going to be brought to... Uh, uh, oh, to PlayStation 4, that's... Yeah, as, as a, yeah, as a, oh. as a remaster. So it's almost like... Ooh, oh, does that main... mean it's not going to be in this Probably particular not. thing? I'm like, oh, so. Yeah. My point is to say, regardless, think about Metal Gear Solid, the first one. Mm. Try to take Twin Snakes out of your mind because that's <laughs> some of the last images we saw of it. And that's not what it looked like. No, no. <laughs> it, the original. It did original. not age well as far as the look of it. Um, and, but for the nostalgia, it, that's okay. Yeah, but the, are like. you going to play a... 12 hour game no honestly <laughs> you know I, I, mean? I will only play wipe out of all the other games the other games i will visit just to see but yeah let's be real most of um, most of these things it's like buying a B- and, amiibos and like you, you just and, collect them yeah and like you said chances are i will play it once or twice and yeah and never touch it again yeah. just point at it as, hey you remember that you know yeah so Not- my initial reaction was to just throw money at it but I'm glad I came to my senses and said, <laughs> yeah, I probably will. Um, so other than those, is there any other PlayStation 1 titles that you think can fit the I was uh, trying to think. I was trying to think of, uh, but they already... St- I'm sure a Medieval will probably be in there. Yeah, Medieval will be there. Yeah. Um, I don't think Crash will be there because they already did the Crash Bandicoot collection. So why, why would you double that? That's true, yeah, yeah. Or Spyro for that matter. Or Spyro. Um yeah, and and they're already doing Final Fantasy VII, so they're not gonna have the better Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, which is Final Fantasy IX. You never know; they could put nine, they eight, could, maybe not, but they could put nine. Yeah, they, oh, the, the, eight. You know what? I just realized the other day: mm-hmm. of all the re-releases that they have made, Final Fantasy VIII have not been re-released anywhere. The licensing. There's what? there's licensed music and stuff behind in that. In that um, Final Fantasy VIII? Eight. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's weird. It's a weird situation. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's guaranteed there's licensing. It. That, well, I mean, maybe the credit. It, it may not be what we know, but uh-huh. there's there's music behind it that you know. It's not, obviously, it's not going to be. Uh, como se dice? The no, it's, it's not Lady Gaga. Yeah, exactly. you know, it's not. So, what I'm saying is that it's it's definitely it's definitely the licensing man. I'm oh. sure they would if it was an affordable thing for them. To I do. heard no. I heard a different rumor. I oh, zero. I heard that the source code for that game was completely lost. That it got raised, it was completely the lost. Source, source code. The wow. source code. So, and if that's the case, then, then yeah, yeah, of course gone. you don't. Yeah, Damn. it's no longer it's gone forever though. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Damn. I, that, 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 they can at least tell, tell us that, so we can have a moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> I know? never beat that game, and I wanted to. And I hate me either. I, 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 I like. <laughs> I, 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 I like Squall. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it was okay. Uh, uh oh, and, and his catchphrase. Whatever. <laughs> Jesus. That's but just the emo catchphrase I, I for, for every... Uh, uh, the uh, idea was so out, so out there that at some point, your whole school is your airship. Oh, Jesus, the yeah. entire school. And that's the funny thing. After having the uh, the airships from Seven, uh-huh. I was like, I can't wait to see with the airship. And the whole time I'm in it, I just don't realize it. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, Damn it. And, uh, but nothing has been, as far as weapons go... Nothing beats the gunblade. My favorite Final Fantasy weapon of all it's, time. It's a very pretty weapon when it you is, look at it. I'm not going to lie. I've seen like yeah. somebody do replicas of it. I'm like, I, I, know, would, really? I would actually pay yes. a good $200 for that. Yes. <laughs> it looks um, so good. Chakra has uh, a replica of the Buster Sword. Yeah, I know. I, I That's actually my, it was my Buster Sword. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah. it, was it was yours. It was my Buster Sword. It passed uh, down da- generation Damien, to yeah, generation. Damien came by. He helped me. He helped me move into my new house when we bought the house. <laughs> and he was like enamored when he saw the Buster Sword. This and I awesome. realized that 
what am I doing with a buster sword? <laughs> it's not like I can wield this shit. So I gave it to him. And then somewhere along the line, we ended up getting to check rods. So Selling it. So still tech. Oh, it. he sold it? Yeah, he sold it for like a hundred bucks or something like that. It was he, so, uh, something I mean, crazy. It's, he, it's still value. You know no, and, so, it's, yeah. and it's and it's and it's a and it's a beautiful replica too. It is. Like I can't believe that you just the, I mean, that should be passed down generation to generation. It could have, yeah. I should have gave it to, you know, Arnold Martin the eighth. But, <laughs> but um, Or to me. <laughs> or to you. I guess that's true. No, but uh, you're older than me. You're gonna die before me. Yeah, right? that's true. <laughs> yeah, at that point. Buster so will be wasted on me now you give me a gun blade for my birthday <laughs> and i'll be it. happy uh i do want to uh, bring up a game that i think will definitely be included they haven't mentioned it siphon filter it oh my be, god it yes has to be siphon part of filter. That. and it should be the first one but that, see that's I, we are assuming that Konami will be very open to this and we don't we are know assuming but uh consider our hot topic of the week let's, uh, let's dream a little there, bit there's gotta be a little bit of that yeah 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 God, what other game? The only good one that came out in my mind, and I know there's, I mean, people are right now. Actually, use your energetic <laughs> enthusiasm that you have right now. <laughs> Instead of yelling at the podcast, write down your choices for what your uh, your favorite uh, or or the PS2 titles that, or the, the PS2, the, PS1. Place, the PS1 titles that, that you think are going to be there. Or the ones that you would like to see. Exactly, exactly. Because I can only think of... When I had it, it was Tony Hawk, it was White Pal, it was the you know all the Final Fantasies, mm-hmm. uh, you know all, all the way to uh, well to nine. And for some reason, like everything else is block Metal Gear Solid, of course, obviously. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, that. that's that's a must right there. Oh, Twisted Metal, that's another one. Twisted that be, Metal, oh, Twisted Metal is there. Has to be there. Twisted yeah. Metal is there. It's a Sony property. I know. So I was gonna say, yeah, it should yeah. be there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's 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 a good that's a good list. But there's still 15 more spots to fill. <laughs> and I'm sure so. Wipeout will be there. Isn't that a Sony property you. too? No, no. It's not, it's yeah, like, yeah, it is. It is. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that, 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 that's how. That, that's why I got excited. This is utterly, I'm like, <laughs> damn, I should have pre-ordered this. So let's keep it Sony because what the hell? This group might as well be a freaking PlayStation group. You know, for all the fan, I mean, for all the enthusiasm <laughs> that is that is there. But don't worry, you know, I. I love Xbox and their people. We love it. It's just that, but they haven't done anything lately. Um, Spider-Man 4 overtakes God of War as the fastest selling first party PlayStation game ever. Yes. Which is hilarious because that's like, that's like breaking the record and then someone breaking your record, right? You know, almost immediately after. Yeah, yeah, because God of War uh, had the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God of War was the fastest uh, PlayStation uh, first party ever, but not anymore. So, Insomniac. Who knew? Insomniac. Uh, 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 open world swingathon. <laughs> so I love you're a gamer. <laughs> swingathon sold over 3.3 million copies during its first three days of on sales. Uh, Sony says. Uh, Stephen uh, Turvey, PlayStation's global senior vice president uh, and sales of sales and head of North America's business operations, told USA Today that Spider-Man met and exceeded all expectations. Uh, that's really that that that's really amazing because not too long ago, like we said, uh, God of War. Uh, was the previous fastest selling uh, first party PlayStation game with 3.1 million sold in its first three days. Um, before that, it was Uncharted 4 mm-hmm. with 2.7 uh, million sold in the first seven days. Wow. So, not, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. And, uh, it is, it, it, it yeah. is, it, it's speaks, well deserved. It's it well speaks deserved. to the power, and I, and I don't mean this in any, you know, fine boyish way. Uh, cause I don't, I don't do that. Mm-hmm. Except, except unless it's PC. Yeah. Except it's PC because, uh, <laughs> PC and R. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it speaks to the power of the PlayStation library. The fact that we think, man, Sony had a brutally amazing 2017. And now we're looking at 2018. It's like, Man, Sony had like a killer 2018, and it's like, I mean, what else is, is there? Well, we know what else is there, yeah. of course. Not in, <laughs> God of, uh, in future news, uh, 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 the, the Last, the of, last us of Us 2, two. <laughs> <laughs> has become or will become the fastest selling PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah. No, so, so it is, I mean, it is a testament to also mm-hmm. to how 
how good is that game? How well it was received? And it's also a testament to the uh, property itself. Yeah. Um, where I think it's it's been a while since we had a proper uh, Spider Man game. Um, I Actually, want, we had the Activision ones. <laughs> that's not well, forget. yeah, but well, how long ago was that? I mean, that still was what? No, that early was, play, PlayStation three. No, well. Yeah, you probably right. Yeah. It, it was it, yeah, it was, uh, it was a few years back. To, yeah. yeah, it was early to mid PlayStation Three. That's easily eight nine years and ago. And they were you know I mean? crap. And they were horrible. Don't they were exactly. Crap, yeah. So I think Spider Man Two was the only the one that everybody says it was good. Web, of, Web of Shadows. Myself. People do. There are there is a following for Web of Shadows, which I think is the very last one. Yeah. Um, or one of the very last ones. But um, but no, it also it also speaks to putting a property aside for a little while. Let the the you know the desire come back for it, and then do it justice by releasing an, an amazing version of it. Uh, and I don't know, dude. It's it's honestly, I I for for anyone who who has uh, just an Xbox and does just just get a cheap. It's 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 so worth it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And this is not in any way put down Xbox. Xbox has its good titles as well, but this is not only that. But great. it has a it, it has a the great idea with the financing of the Xbox. Have a lot of people thinking like, Correct. you know what? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I didn't get it because of the price. You know, and yeah, there was not a lot of games, but it still had games that I cannot play on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. So now it's a good idea to you know perhaps. So we're not not trying to diss it or no, anything no, like that. It's just. Yeah. But definitely, you 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 owe it to, to yourself to to try the, uh, to to come back or try uh, 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 playing some Spider Man because it is so good. And then of course you got God of War, you got Horizon, you got a bunch of other titles that you might as well catch up on while you're here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and an easy way, or what may be an easy way of doing this. Sony's doing financing too. Uh, no, oh. no, not yet. <laughs> Baby steps for the uh, Sony. Mm. Uh. Along with releasing a mini console, kind of uh, you know biting off of uh, of oh, uh, Nintendo Nintendo recipe. So they now they're actually biting off a little bit on Games Pass here. So PlayStation Now uh, offers downloading of PlayStation Four and PlayStation Two games. Yes, I saw that. Yes, it's that a was, feature feature that comes this week. Now is it download 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 download? So how do how would that work if if it's streaming? I mean, how how would that work? I have they figure have they finally figured out backwards compatibility? The well, here's the deal. It's PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 2. What's missing there? PlayStation 3. Yeah. The cell processor. <laughs> oh, that damn cell the processor. That redheaded stepchild. <laughs> the system that almost bankrupt Sony. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh almost all PlayStation 4 games in the service are downloadable, according to the announcement, without specifying which ones or types are not. Downloaded games will also support all user purchase DLC and microtransactions, as well as the PlayStation uh, 4 Pro enhancements. They will support us. They will support them taking your money. Of, of course. course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and online multi- multiplayer does not require a PlayStation Plus subscription, as long as, of course, you are using through the uh, PlayStation Now. Yeah. Uh, the PlayStation 4 system with downloaded games from PlayStation Now will still need to connect to the internet every few days to verify the user subscription. Uh, PlayStation mm. did add. Uh, and so, yeah, so it's, it's, I mean, it's missing the PlayStation 3 portion. I, I am assuming that they're still working on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you said, the cell processor is still haunting them from, you know, from, yeah. from their, from what is it? From what their, the days when the, where they were freaking all in, into themselves. Oh, when, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. When when the when the cell ecosystem was happening, yeah, yeah. where where they they were thinking they that said, let's create something and, that is amazing. <laughs> refrigerators and were gonna have yeah. this this, oh. this 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 chip, you yeah. know, and they were gonna talk to each other. You know, that yeah. was that was that was the, the this dream is this is from their, the cell exactly from their very uh, stubborn days. Um, so I'm assuming they're still working on those. Uh, but for right now, everything that everything else, everything that's a PlayStation Four game mm-hmm. um, that you can play, you can you can now download directly. Which, let's be real, that's a great service that games. But that's has. yeah, that, that's and that that is plus plus uh, at correct, that point. Yeah, exactly. Now I have a question: mm-hmm. the streaming service is also available on PC. Mm-hmm. How would that work for those titles? Because I'm sure you cannot download a PlayStation 4 game and run to a on PC. PC. I'm pretty sure you cannot. <laughs> yeah, uh, so. And there, of course, there's no mention of this uh, version on the PC. Although it does say you can download to your PlayStation 4. So oh, I guess okay. yeah, so it, there, it doesn't mention same. anything of uh, of the uh, PC version. So You can download, but only PlayStation 4. Don't be fooled. Ha ha. That's okay. 
Your PC should be able to stream it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So uh, <laughs> this, I don't know what to make of this uh, piece of news. Uh, I think I'm down actually with this one, and I think I posted it as such. A, new, uh, a Rainbow Six movie is coming. Oh. And, and the interesting thing is that Variety uh, reports that Paramount Pictures have uh, has developing has developing good job PC gamer by the way. <laughs> That's how they really, oh, wow. <laughs> Variety reports that Paramount Pictures has developing official film adaptation for two Tom Clancy novels. We Michael B. Jordan as the leading man. Oh, okay. Well, that adds a little uh, credit. Credit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why would it have not have it before? Well, I mean, I'm just saying. I know, I'm yeah. uh, So, uh, Jordan will helm uh, the role of ex-Navy, ex-Navy SEAL John Clark, Clancy's second most popular uh, character in the, in the Ryan, Ryan verse? Jack Ryan. Oh, that's right. Oh, shoots and that. Okay, so that's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm down. Shoot. Oh, wow. So uh, in both Rainbow Six and Without Remorse, with the former of which uh, launched alongside the classical, classical. No, sorry. Let me read that again. I'm like PC gamer now. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Wilhelm, the role of ex Navy SEAL John Clark. Uh, in both Rainbow Six and Without Remorse, the former of which launched alongside the classic tactical shooter game of the same name in 1998. Uh, so Without Remorse will follow the novel uh, in setting up to the origins of Clark, while Rainbow Six will follow the characters as he formed the titular multi, uh, multinational counterterrorism unit uh, the games are based on. It says Clark is a long-established character in the Clancy universe and has previously been portrayed uh, in Jack Ryan movies uh, by Liev Schreiber. L- Liev Schreiber. Liev Schreiber. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Liev Schreiber. Uh, in 2002, The Sum of All Fears. Oh, he was in The Sum of All Fears. Yes. Damn, yes. I need to rewatch those movies. God, I love that universe. Yeah, it's very uh, good. Yeah. And William Dafoe in 1994, 1994 Clear and Place, Present yeah, Danger. Yep. Oh, that is so badass. Dude, I'm... You know what? I you was said, hesitant. You said you were going to read... Oh, with this? Yeah. Yeah, I was hesitant. I was like, Tim Clancy... Because... You forget that Jack Ryan is a town Clancy yes, product. Yeah, yes, yeah. and it's a, and, and it's a real novel. It's not yeah, yeah. unlike Sam Fisher, which is a game character. <laughs> you know, exactly. it, doesn't it, exist inside. So the I was novel, thinking yeah. Rainbow Six. Oh yeah, you know the fictional world of Rainbow Six. I mean, it is fictional, it is, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but it, that it's not based on any books. And no, it's actually based on. Dude, I gotta start downloading Clancy shit because that is super, super Absolutely. interesting. Uh, what you think of the? Uh, well, actually, you already mentioned Michael B. Jordan being casted. I, I, I mean, again, it, it, yeah, it does whole. definitely lend credits to the uh, to the to what they're going to do. And I personally uh, am very interested. Uh, I, you know, I mean, I, I love that type of you know espionage, spy thriller uh, type of uh, story. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they've done well. Jack Ryan the series on Amazon, guys. You have to watch this. To it watch is that, an yeah. amazing freaking series. Yeah. Um, and of course, all the prior uh, Jack Ryan uh, movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- that alone should say if the, if any of the and they're none of them are, are bad. The sum mm-hmm. of all fears may be the one that falls short, but it's still a good movie. I like you know it, what I mean. Yeah. So, um, overall, if you like the if you like anything about that, I can definitely see good things coming out of this and i'm, I'm cool. very very excited to to um to see you know yeah. to see more on it uh what i'm a little bit hesitant on though is uh apparently avatar the last airbender oh, uh, god. will be making a live action return oh god no please don't to netflix <laughs> <laughs> oh okay <laughs> they they can, they will green light that crap <laughs> of course <laughs> that was already green lit this, this, we're just waiting for the announcement is what this is uh, is that gonna be also is that gonna be uh, directed by 
God no, yes. Uh, the sh- no, it won't be. The show will be reimagined you, you, according you to You have Netflix. to say the real name so people don't confuse. What of I course, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be at all the M Night Shyamalan's uh, version, which came out in 2010 and was horrible. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely horrible. <laughs> so much excitement for the possibilities. Yes, for this. <laughs> and it was just horrible. It was meant to be more than one film, but it. Tanked it, right. and it never, never uh, picked up. Uh, this it was, is, the whole deal is that they took the season, the first season of The Last Airbender, and they made it which was movie. 20 episodes, and made it into a film. <laughs> and there was so much missing. It was just like, this is disgusting. Get it out of here. This is just. This is like, uh, like that time where Platinum Games <laughs> made the Ninja Turtles game. Is that that level of bad? Platinum or game. the last. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Or actually, the last air- did they? Did? No, it was Cora. That like, was Cora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sequel, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty much like that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the original creators, Michael DiMartino and Brian Conizio, Conizco, uh, are signed on as executive produce uh, producers for the series. That's good. Uh, production is set to start in 2019. Uh, so, other than that, there really isn't much other than the fact that they're proceeding with it. The fact that the original uh, creators are involved is definitely a good sign. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I don't know what the budget is. This show does include some fantastical elements, so it needs to have special effects. Um, so who knows what you know? Who knows how much money they're going to be spending on this? Um, I just yeah, I, I want them to do I want them to do it justice, man. Um, someone let, someone has someone to. has to because I mean, don't get me wrong. Truthfully, the, the original property is excellent on its own, and and mm-hmm. I could just watch that because it's amazing. It still holds up today, um, and it's a wonderful, wonderful series. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Well. Uh We'll see about you know about that one. Keeping it in, in movie news, uh, it appears that Marvel Studios have uh, greenlighted uh, the rumored Eternals movie uh, for post Avengers Four Phase. Uh, it is said that Chloe Chow uh, will direct the film uh, about the mystic superheroes. Uh, Chloe Chow uh, will direct the Eternals for Marvel Studios, according to the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, in uh, in one of the first definite hints at the future of the uh, of the production company uh, has planned for the Marvel Cinematic Universe following Avengers 4 and the end of its Phase 3. Uh, Kevin Fe- Feige? Or Feige? I'm sorry. If I'm Kevin Feige. Feige. Mm-hmm. I'm mispronouncing names left and right. That's okay. Uh, confirmed the movie was in early development uh, in April of 2018. Uh, the Eternals will feature the superpower and near immortal beings known as the Eternals, according to the Hollywood Reporter, and a and a more monstrous offshoot known as the Divines, uh, mm-hmm. that were created by uh, by cosmic beings known as the Celestials. Uh, one of which I believe we witnessed in yes, Kurt Russell in uh, uh, yeah, part two of that. Guardians, yeah, of the Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. yes. Uh, the story will also, at least in part, involve uh, a love story between the eternal uh, Icaris, Icaris and Cersei, uh, the, la- uh, the latter of whom loves spending time with mortal humans. Sir, what are the Eternals? The Eternals are, uh, I think... They no no see now I'm getting confused now with <laughs> with another property. Uh, honestly, I don't know too much about. It. Like, th- this is my biggest issue with a lot of cosmic things. A lot of comic things is when they go a little too cosmic. You, you lost me already, and yeah. so I would know about it at a time, but then I don't ever pay attention to it. Yeah. Um, I know that there are beings just like uh Kurt Russell's, you know, whatever these these big powerful things mm. that that were whatever, but. And how will that make for interesting? I mean, the the, the reason we not, like that—that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was thinking yeah. the reason why we like the the hero movies is that is because even the ones with superpower, they still are you know sort of humanoid, Correct, and yeah. and we we can still relate to 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 a lot of them, even if it's just their you know physiology or whatever and mm-hmm. and their weaknesses. But you're telling me that. There's gonna be like godlike looking, you know, Pretty beings much, yeah. now. I mean, there were already Thor. You know, what I mean, there were that's true demigods. Yeah, so, you know. that, that, that's true. But obviously, these are supposed to be different beings of some sort. But to keep it 
on the Marvel slash Disney slash Fox uh, news. Uh, Fox biggest superheroes will be overseen by Kevin Feige. Uh, Feige, excuse me. Uh, as you know, in July, Walt Disney and 21st Century Fox shareholders overwhelmingly voted to merge the two companies. Uh, and when asked, um, excuse me, when uh, his name is Iger, Iger, you just mentioned him. Yeah, when yeah. Iger uh, was asked if Feige would oversee everything as Disney absorbed the X Men uh, franchise, spanning back uh, from 2000s X Men to the unreleased. Dark Phoenix and the New Mutants. Uh, Iger answered, I think it would only make sense. I want to be careful here because of what's been communicated to the Fox folks, but I think they know it only makes sense for Marvel to be supervised by one entity. Uh, They shouldn't be two Marvels. Uh, Mm, So that makes absolute sense. And that also, uh, you know, gives me a little faith that maybe X Men will rise from from the ashes of, of, God knows. Well, whatever, whatever was it yeah. that they, whatever they what were going the, with. Yeah. What if the what if the origin? Nah, nah this, this is far fetched. Never mind. It's, it's dumb. <laughs> uh, well, I already sunk, <laughs> sunk myself in that hole, so let me get out of it. What if the origin? You know, what if they play basically a little bit, take some liberties, and suddenly the origin of mutants has something to do, maybe with. However, way Avengers Four resolves, the, like what if it's yeah. something? You know, what if they tie it? The problem is that they have products already going. So, because mm-hmm. you keep in mind, Dark Phoenix uh, Saga, which is it's the next X Men thing, uh-huh. already being made. Oh, and okay. this is with the same characters that we saw on the last uh, X Men film. Um, I forgot the name of it. Days, not Days of Future Past, the one after that. Who sure. cares? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah. But the point is that because um, the problem with them is that their storyline is constantly contradicting, e- you know, each yeah. other, and that's that's what happens when you have too many hands in the pot. You know what yeah. I mean? So keeping it with one guy makes absolute sense. You know what yeah. I mean? But at the same time, do they fix that? Because they have to continue with the story they're already making. Yeah. And they have the new mutants which come out after that. And it's just like, uh, the ball's already rolling here. <laughs> you know I, I, mean? I almost wish they would just like reboot the damn thing. If they, if suddenly, it's suddenly, I mean, if this merger is to happen and Disney suddenly has. It's already happened. It's already happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. But, what I mean is like, if they really get serious ab- uh, about it, which I, I don't have a doubt that they would, but. The right way of handling this is to just wreck on the shit out of anything that has happened. The problem there is that you also burn bridges with fans who still enjoy those movies. That's yeah, but I mean. I mean, we're not okay. So, so then make it a different origin story. It's it's like it's like fans of Batman not liking the Dark Knight. Well, who cares? The Dark Knight was still freaking awesome. I don't know of any fan. I know, like I know, that, that, but that's what I'm. Yeah, yeah. We have a potential for that exact thing to happening okay. here. Okay. It's like okay, well, whatever. But the Marvel problem, Disney cre- you know, Disney Marvel creates, and it's super awesome. And suddenly yeah. you're not thinking of the bad, uh, okay. you know, X Men because now you have a proper X Men, and and you try to do the same as far as putting characters and, and, and hiring actors. That people care to mm-hmm. see, to watch, and they and they really enjoy and relate and whatever, and and you know, you try to it. It's it's funny to mention, but it's almost like doing the same formula again, which Pretty hasn't much. worked very well. Well, I mean, but they have to do. Yeah, I mean, they have to do what they do, and I think I mean we'll see, we'll see what they do, but I think they have the opportunity here to do a strong, uh, you know, to bring back. First of all, I think the first thing they're going to do is bring back Fantastic Four. But I think obviously do it correctly, do it their way. You know what I mean? Oh do God, it, um, I think it's too early still for that. The well, I mean, I didn't see the last one, um, which I don't even remember much of it. I heard, I heard, I heard. I, heard, I just I heard Michael things about that in. movie. Yes, yeah, and I heard, um, I heard things about the movie that if I were to repeat them here, it will create a vortex of curse and chaos. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> and it'll create, it, it'll bring out the destruction of the <laughs> megaverse. <laughs> That's Fair how enough. bad I heard things about, about that movie. But keeping it in movies, because might as well follow the trend. <laughs> uh, Black Panther. 
No, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh. Black Panther's director <laughs> is going to produce a Space Jam sequel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys remember Space Jam, right? <laughs> with Michael Michael B. Jordan. No, wrong Jordan, sir. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. This one was Michael Jordan, actually. <laughs> and, is, Mike, is Michael the Jordan? <laughs> Michael T. <the> Jordan. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <Yes. laughs> nice. Love it. And... Uh, <laughs> Bugs up, Bunny. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe it, it also had. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Bill Murray. Bill yeah, Murray on right. it, yes. So, what is not to like? So, oh, <laughs> the entire film, dude. <laughs> wait. Well, it, it gets better. Uh, Ryan Coogler joins LeBron James to revisit the 1996 classic. <laughs> <laughs> Ari Kugler is the uh, director of Black Black Panther. Yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, Black pa- uh, Black Panther's director will produce the sequel to 1996 classic Space Jam, reports the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Ryan Coogler uh, has the endorsement of LeBron James, uh, who is set to star and whose Spring Hill Entertainment is involved uh, with the project. Uh, Te- Terrence Nance will direct Space Jam's two, its provisional title. Uh, which ten- tentatively uh, scheduled for 2019 uh, during the NBA off season, so roughly any time between June and late October. Mm-hmm. Uh, this a sequel to this to Space Jam, which star Michael Jordan, <laughs> I guess not Michael B. Jordan, uh, Bugs Bunny, Bill Murray, and an ensemble of NBA and Looney, Tool- Looney Tunes all time uh, greats has long been rumored. I was not aware of this rumor, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I really? did not know that this was happening. Uh, in 2016, Justin Lin, the director of Star Trek Beyond, and four of the movies in the Fast of the, the Furious series, yeah. uh, said to be directing it. Um, and then it says, uh, Spring Hill Entertainment confirmed the hire with this image on Instagram. You guys can see this image on Instagram, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could tell right uh, there. Yeah. It's like... Looks good. It looks great. Not- yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's happening. <laughs> My last piece is a little bit of a small piece, but it's also kind of a shame. Uh, with the announcement of the PlayStation Mini and most likely the Mini N64, because I don't know if you know, the um, it, it seems like some... Um, what do you call it? Uh, blueprints or something like that. Some something has been brought up with the N sixty four and how uh, the, the controller. You know that you you know your oh, favorite controller. Yeah, my favorite controller. Of so all time, right? um, so it looks like uh, that may be on the horizon as well. Uh, a a, a sixty four mini. Uh, it better Se- come with sixty four games. Sega, unfortunately, uh, has delayed the release of its Mega Drive Mini console. Oh. Um, the one that they're not making, the, <laughs> they just gave it to some third party. No, no, no. This is it, which the company announced back in April. And let me explain you Jesus. why. Uh, they d- delayed it to next year. While the push to 2019 may sound like a bad news, uh, Nega, uh, Sega excuse me, will miss the 16-bit console's 30th anniversary uh, in Japan due to the oh, change. Oh, no. In the that, that's... Uh... It sounds like Sega is doing the right thing by its console. Uh, Sega is now aiming for a global worldwide release of the Mega Drive Mini in Japan and Europe, as well as the Sega Genesis Mini in North America. Uh, in better news, Sega also said it is now working with a domestic Japanese software developer with a proven track record. Uh, previously, uh, Sega had announced it was going to be working with Ag Games, uh, the company behind the flashback uh, console, which we all know is relatively cheap yeah. <laughs> cheap yeah. and very disappointing basically <laughs> um it's not clear yet what uh relationship sega and at games will have if any on the project uh but other than that details are pretty scarce um but yeah it looks like they're going to if they're going to do it they're going to do it right which i think they should have already done that for the beginning but hey they, well, yeah, they're my, of course correcting at least and, i was gonna say because uh, i thought I, I thought there was a sega system but it, they were treating it like like they weren't being too serious about it, so they no. just 
gave the license to someone to work on it, and it was crap. Games, I yeah. thought that's what it was. They were gonna, they were basically gonna do a, a similar thing. Now, don't get me wrong; you can actually get a flashback console right now at freaking oh yeah, you Bed, are, you are yeah, Target or, or, or yeah. Walgreens or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> they're out there, and but they're horrible. They're they're literally the cheapest flash you can possibly think of. Yeah. Okay, it's not built. The UI is horrible. It's just no. it probably has just a list of games. You press one for or whatever. You kind of go down, yeah. scroll down to the one you want, and it start it boots up the game. <laughs> It's just it. Obviously, there's no love behind it. You know what I mean. Right. And that was a concern when they first announced that they were going to do a proper whatever. But then they they went with ad games again. You're like, well, these are the same guys you licensed it out before. You know. Now it looks like they're actually a little bit hands on. Yeah, they're on like, it. okay, let's 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 do this right. Uh, which is a shame. Had they originally thought that they, you know originally put that thought in, then they would have made their thirtieth anniversary. Yeah, but, yeah. At that point. Yeah, it, it, it's kind this of is a the bad troubles of Sega. Sega's always had issues with consoles. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing new. So the Saturn got released way too early, and now your classic is released way too late. Yes. Good job, Sega. <laughs> the hell. <laughs> uh, so I don't have anything major, major other than maybe uh, mention uh, that Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter World PC sales Ooh. have exceeded expectations. Uh, so following the release of Monster Hunter World uh, on PC last month, Capcom has stated uh, that the Steam sales have exceeded the company's expectation in a full year business forecast. Uh, the 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 PC game launched early. Uh, no, for, I'm sorry. The the PC game uh, was eagerly anticipated following its huge success on consoles, and of course, it didn't disappoint. Uh, I, Monster Hunter was great. Do you play a heck of a lot of it? Uh, you know, I did. Uh, uh, hundred and I think I ended off at one hundred and thirty-two. I yeah. haven't gone back in a while though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm happy to I'm happy to hear this the, this news because it means that you know these properties. Which, by the way, the the highest grossing uh, uh, Capcom property of of all time. Uh, it already surpassed Street Fighter Two, and I was kind of surprised at that. You know, to to hear that. Well, I mean, not me particularly. Um, I think Street Fighter in itself is a well. We're, when we talk about Street Fighter Two, you're talking about the the original Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so Street yeah. Fighter it Two. Well, first off, that was uh, that was a. Uh, um, I think it was only wasn't it only on Super Nintendo? Or was it on Genesis as well? No, it came on Genesis. Genesis no, eventually it came every, 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 okay. Even the Turbo Graphics had. Oh yeah, 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 they have, have, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, they have Fighting Streets. I forgot. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that, was, that was the name. The um, but for no. What I'm reason. saying is that um, Street Fighter itself lends itself to a certain crowd. It, obviously, that's yeah. a game you have to you basically play and play and play and play just to get good at, so you can. No, and not to mention so. not to mention that. I mean, consoles are there. There's there's obviously more consoles in households yeah. than they were, no, ever, than they were before. before yeah. So makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, that's all we have for right now. Uh, stay tuned because we'll be right back with uh, Hot Topic of the Week. And we're back, guys. And we're going to go right into our Hot Topic of the Week. Hot Topic of the Week! Hot Topic! Hot Topic. Hot Topic, guys, is simple. Do we want freaking Konami back? I know <laughs> I know it's sexy to say hashtag for Konami. I get that. I get that. I get the Put that shit aside yeah. for a second and just really think about it. Uh, and after you say fuck Konami another three times, <laughs> do yeah. you get it out of your system? Get it out of your because system. we need to be rational now. Exactly, and um, we don't need to piss Rafael anymore. The, the no, I don't think he'd be pissed off at this. Um, <laughs> well, he's he's a Konami ambassador though. The well, I mean that's fine. He could be he can choose to be there. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> you know, we got other opinions. <laughs> you know? right. uh, no, realistically, um, I think. I don't know. So, <laughs> I, I well, that's I, a great yeah, topic. That's a great argument. On it. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. We'll sometimes, week, <laughs> uh, no. All right. So let me start it. Uh, so, so for, well, first, before we start, let okay, me let me, let me explain start. where where this uh, news is coming from. I don't know if anybody has read uh, the posting that I made of the hot topic. So, essentially, the creators, Side Games, uh, which is the uh, a, a developing company that is bringing over Zone of the Enders. Uh, the second runner 
they're actually porting it to the yeah oh, they're wow. porting it to the PlayStation Four, and it's going to be uh, available in VR. Uh, so they're also doing the VR version. In an interview, they were asked or they mentioned that they actually are in talks with Konami to bring an all new Zone of the Enders um, to you know to all the uh, major consoles and everything. And obviously, that's in talks. Nothing's out there. Uh, the immediate impression is pff, they're not going to fucking do this. Yeah. Shit. It's fucking <laughs> Konami. They're not going to do this shit. Yeah. Then when you think about it for a second, you go, well, they did let them bring Zone Zone of the Enders mm-hmm. second runner. So obviously, they're not against the idea. Mm-hmm. Um, so that you know that that kind of uh, that kind of go oh well, that kind of sparked interest. Going well, maybe they will. Maybe mm-hmm. hey, maybe they'll be okay with this now. Uh, and then shortly after that, a couple of days later, the uh, rumors of um, Castlevania Sympathy of the Night coming mm-hmm. to PlayStation 4, along with Rondo of Blood, um, which again goes... That's great, because I never played Rondo of Blood. Me either. I never played Rondo of Blood. You're absolutely right. Um, basically, I'm looking over to see what happened, how that came up. Uh, Games Rating Administration Committee of Korea uh, basically kind of let that slip <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know as so, it usually happens yeah, yeah, exactly. and of, more often than not it's, it's real legit. exactly yeah. exactly um so that's essentially what led to the hot topic and then of course the first thought was after the i mean think about the crazy e3s that konami had. <laughs> oh <laughs> you know, god after all the insanity that konami has and of course the the uh apparent treatment of its employees the apparent treatment of kojima, kojima um all this stuff and i say apparent because we see certain things but we're we're not part of it so we don't really know we yeah. can only go by what is the alleged the, yeah, yeah. The alleged. what have been um, yeah chances are they are true but in the end unless we're there to witness what's going on we right. you know we're all we're all third parties here um <laughs> that said do we want them back do we want to have that thing have they learned uh have they been away long enough to say you know what Let's, you know, have they, who knows, have they uh, change heads, mm. you know, and maybe the, the new head of whoever is mm. like, guys, there's still money to be made over here, you know. In video games. Yeah. What do you think, sir? Well, okay. So I feel like we should put a little bit on a, of, of a foundation here mm-hmm. to, because a lot of people immediately think, you know, the, they hear Konami and their mind goes straight to video games, yeah. you know. And, and I feel like now more people know, but this didn't used to be the case, that Konami is not just a video game company. No. They're almost like a... I'm not sure if I use the term right, the term prop, you know, right uh, but it's almost like a conglomerate. Conglomerate, yeah. That, uh, that, Electronics conglomerate. Yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. It's kind of like, yeah, that they own, uh, I mean, they, they have different services in, in between them. They... They they have health clubs, you know, Konami health clubs. Uh, they have uh, their casino, mm-hmm. you know, and their uh, what's those games? Pachinko, Pachinko, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, type of type of games, which makes them a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have it, it's sort of like the the way I, I see it is almost like a like a Virgin Atlantic. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, to where yes, at one point they used to make games. You know, but that was not they their only music. They used to make music. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that was not their, you know, their stronghold. It was just one of their ventures. So mm-hmm. Konami Electronic Entertainment was one of the, you know, Adventures. was another, you know, the electronic venture, you know, uh, video game ver- venture of it. Uh, I, I immediately think of uh, uh, Konami. I actually, I don't go towards the bad things that have happened you know within the the last few years of it i think of the legacy of all the properties that they have that they brought the quality of their of their eight big games and and their 16 big games Mm -hmm. and you know that era where the the word konami was associated with one of the you know the best games out premier there premier gaming yeah premier gaming yeah you knew that i mean it it was so good and there were so many great games that I, that at one point it, nintendo had a had a weird rule that you can you can have, they wouldn't allow more than a certain, a certain amount, amount of games, games to be released by a particular uh game company and that was to prevent what had happened not too many years back with the with the crash of with the Atari 
you know, with the Atari uh, video game crash yeah. of well, 1983, crash, yeah. with the whole video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was brought to it was related uh, to Atari a lot because that's the that's the the console that basically everything was released on it, and it just got overloaded with. With, with crap, crap yeah, yeah, with shovelware, kind of like before our, shovelware was called shovelware. Well, I was, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like I was gonna say, well, kind of like our web stores. Now, I mean, our uh, uh, game our stores, game yeah. stores, yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. The uh, I uh, I I store or whatever they, yeah, are. <laughs> store, yeah. Uh, the, and, uh, and 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 Steam's and and oh god, that. Steam, yeah. So yeah, actually, Steam is a perfect example of. <laughs> Of that, you're absolutely right. Fuck so, <laughs> Hashtag fuck scene. So what I was gonna say was, Nintendo had that rule that you know Konami, for example, couldn't release more than I don't remember if it was three or five games a year, it but was, yeah. it, it was something like that. It was some some number. Uh, so so they actually did a spin-off uh, game company which belonged to Konami. I don't know if it was known, you know, or super known, but it was basically another, a different name. That's a good question. I'm not sure if it was uh, common knowledge at that point that that was a Konami what, studio. What was, what was Ultra, the Ultra? Ultra, Ultra yeah. They, you guys remember Ultra Games? Yeah. They, you know, that brought us Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. Which was god-awfully hard, but I still loved it. Oh, yeah. You know <laughs> what? And in this say, uh, copyright, you know, Konami. Konami, yeah. So he had their yeah. name. So, okay, so it was not, so it was kind of like a workaround, yeah, you know, yeah, a exactly. loophole, yeah. you know, they were, they were explaining They're that like, loophole. If you're going to start, if you're going to spend money to start a new company, all right, we'll allow We're just going to make yeah. a Ultra, Ultra <laughs> yeah, Games. There you go. So, 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 so and, and you just mentioned another game that was a fantastic hit. And the arcades and all of that, there was obviously some love um, on that business. But it was all because that business was making a lot of money with uh, you know the investment the investment was not didn't have to be as great as the potential for the return that you were getting correct you know nowadays that's different because every game is kind of a risk you know uh and unfortunately things change and you know how the story went you know from there yeah so but i've always i i i hate the fact that it became like that because i've always uh envisioned uh or or uh, related Konami with some of the, some best, of the best games game, of my yeah, childhood. Absolutely. Some of the games that I, unfortunately I don't see now, but I would it's, love it's to see again, like Contra. Yeah, it's amazing how how you when you think of classic gaming, when you think of the eight bit era, you almost immediately think of Konami. It yes. was this. It was next to Nintendo who was making their old games. Konami had to be second. There, uh, of of yeah. uh, companies that were that were releasing great stuff, Atari was still floundering after what happened to yeah. it. Um, but Konami came in and and then with Ultra Games on top of that, mm-hmm. bolstering a strong library of mm-hmm. of titles. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. You could you couldn't you could not think of the uh, NES era and not think of Konami. No, no, yeah. no. Games like Contra, like I mentioned, Blades of Steel. Blades of Steel. Uh, they, I have Blades of Steel for the record. Do you have Blades of Steel? On a cartridge and everything, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. I have, yeah. That's a, that's a my good nephew game. like kicked my ass in it, but. but. <laughs> You're old, all yeah, right. Yeah, Don't have to play those games. <laughs> uh, the Ca- Castlevania, of course. You know, all those classic uh, uh, Konami games that were, that stood out not just on gameplay being fun, but their soundtracks were amazing. Also, yeah, there was absolutely. some love put into Dude, that. Some of, the, some of the music from the Ninja Turtle game is still it was kind great. Of, is, yeah, absolutely awesome stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So, so when when the question comes as do you, would do would you be okay with Konami? You know, would you want Konami back? Like I immediately think, hell yeah, I would love to get to to that original you know game loving company. Yeah. You know, of back in the days, releasing some killer titles, that quirky, almost embarrassing cousin kind of yeah. company. You know what I mean? Where you're like, yeah, you guys should oh, not have a stage presence. Let, <laughs> let, let, let put it this, let's put it this way: they're also, uh, I would say, almost responsible for the uh, for the coming of uh, music games. Oh, uh, with uh, their the, Dance Dance Revolution yeah, yeah, was yeah. huge. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those games. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Those you know, games like Dance Dance Revolution. And that was an era where they were making a killing with those. Uh then of course, uh they they their their um 
instruments uh, didn't do so, you know, didn't do so well because by that time Guitar Hero was out and then Rock Band came out and then they were trying to do their own thing, uh, which didn't pan out very well. Yeah. Uh, but but when you think about it, I think uh, the genre, I think it was called Bemani, uh, the genre of, of music games. It wasn't super, super popular here, but it was like... What was the name of it? Bemani. Bemani. Yeah, Bemani... Was yeah, I think that's what how, how, you know th- that's what it is. But it was those dance and revolution titles that yes, a lot of, you know that the, it has their it's the cult following here. But in, in Japan, huge. it was like yeah. humongous. Oh, yeah. It was I like think it's still it's, it maybe not as huge, but definitely still has a presence. Uh, yeah, because it, it, it the definitely arcades has, in in Japan are, are they haven't are, died. Yeah, they have not died. Yeah, yeah. and they have. I mean, they're putting money behind these arcade uh, yeah. type scenarios. Uh, there was a game that was that, that that was called Beat Mania. Is that is that what you mean? No, Beat oh. Mania was one uh, a game. Uh, Beat Mania is a genre. Oh, it's, it's what they call it. Okay. Yeah, it's a dance and revolution. It's, it's a dance and revolution. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's those. So get you know hearing Konami and invoking those those, those images uh, of those games of that era immediately will get me excited about the possibility of getting something like that. The problem is that the reality is nowhere near. It's not going to approach that or it's, it's nowhere near that because, you know, as a conglomerate, as a as a, as, as a company that that follow, pursues the stuff that is only going to make them money, you know, and, and not be too risky in this current, you know, uh, climate, uh, economic env- uh, environment in general, they are. They are pursuing, you know, they're putting even their IPs, their gaming IPs, they're using it for what's leaving them more money, more money. which is, unfortunately, the pachinko the machines machine. and stuff like that, to the point where it has become ridiculous. It, 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 well, it, that leads at least to another possibility. Mm. Um, what is currently, a, if I were to ask you, what is the biggest money maker for a game company in gaming right now? What would you say? Go. Oh, that's the that that's the Fortnite things that the uh, battle royale. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit! Yes. Microtransactions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if they were to come back, uh, mm-hmm. Konami, and get you know just in regular, so I can see them being now very you know using those tactics. Maybe yeah. maybe not you know maliciously, and maybe not making pay to win. No, no, I'm just saying maybe <laughs> not. Um, but definitely, I would not see if there was a game that they would. They themselves would um, put out um, and put money into. I can definitely see them going. Yeah, it needs to include some some sort of revenue uh, trail in the end. However, you guys want to do it, do it. But if it doesn't include that, we're not. Gonna the problem is it. that they they did it and they did it with Metal Gear so- uh, with Metal Gear Solid Five, and 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 it was you know and, and there was no control. It was, was the one in Metal Gear Solid. I forgot uh, exactly. I know that he have it, it, it had money. It, it, it had a, a microtrans. Well, I'm talking about like I'm talking about. I mean, all right. So think of a property uh-huh. that, um, like, if they do Castlevania, okay, and suddenly they try to monetize Castlevania, it's like no. Well, how would you fuck that? I'm a, it's, that's, s- they will sensi- find a way. I know, I know. Sensibly, let's say for uh-huh. instance, what would be an allowable monetization of Castlevania? Only thing, only sensible thing, will be just DLC and expansion. I cannot okay. think. The, uh, don't bring loot acceptable? boxes. Don't bring. Well, that's always acceptable on every game that has to have the okay. you know expansions. Well, I mean, if, they, if they do that since the era, you know, but they're not. But they wouldn't do it that way. Uh, now, what about their music games? Did they try to come back with? Although I think see, that's yeah. That that's, that is easy. That, well, I wouldn't say easy in the sense that that is more sensible and understandable to monetize because you could get hey, you want a song or a song package, you know, you you buy you, you buy it like that. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that has been the the, the 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 model, but the the thing right now is that Konami is not that is a different company. Mm-hmm. Is that is that I I feel this this is them abandoning what's not giving you know what's not really bringing them money uh, a lot of money mm-hmm. you know, a lot of return you know obviously they do have the properties where they can. You know they can outsource them, them out, yeah. and they but they did, they did, and they didn't do so well. Like Castlevania, Lord of Shadow, when when they try to bring Lord of Shadow, and then the sequel, and that didn't do well. At, I would say almost at all. You know, to them, the only thing they had that's was, true. Um, but if they let's, I mean, so 
what other way they can do is mm-hmm. to considering the the uh, influx of um you know retro games do you think uh allowing those licenses of the actual code for those old games to come back like they p- apparently plan to do with Castlevania Symphony of the Night and just bring back those up, would that be enough for them to step back in or the problem do you want to is, see more the problem is that at at that point I I would not consider that being oh Konami is back. No, that's true. Uh, that that to me is just well they see the money value of it and little to no effort. Yeah. So, so of like, course, of we're course, not they're gonna, gonna do, do anything. It. You guys are. Yeah, is- exa- exactly. I'm thinking of Konami developing Konami ass games, uh, like Square, you know, would do, and like From Software would do, and you know, bringing. Bringing those killer IPs, those original, you know, uh, uh, you know, series and things that that will get us excited, you know, and 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 maybe put see the problem again. They kind of tried that with Castlevania, and it did not work. What I think in the case of Castlevania, it was, it was, that was a while it was ago, such really, a different. Yeah. It's like it's like giving you. I mean, that was before. It's like Metal making Zelda yeah. and saying, well. Right now, first person shooters is the is what's 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 in you know. So let's make it that. It it, it seemed like such a huge departure of it from the series. Yeah, definitely. and for example, I I love Contra. I don't want a first person Contra. That's not what I'm asking for. Yeah. It'll be cool if maybe it has a level. And the, it, you yeah, know, there, you was, know, there was a transitions uh, that are like that. Oh, I think it was third person. There was third a, person, there was yeah, third, person. third person. Version. But 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 that's not you know. I don't. I, I don't need a first person contra. You know, but it, they could bring there. They can bring games like Silent Hill, Silent Hill. They could have done that. You know, they could have done. But they're not interested. They on it. did. I'm doing they that. did. Didn't. Wasn't there some uh, independent guy who made a PT? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And for PC, ended up, didn't they ended up bringing him on board? No, uh, they no? season the system. I know, but didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they help him out with something? I could swear that they they brought him. Hey, you know, have internship over here or something like that. Ah, uh, internship. Yeah, that yeah, could have been, been. That could have been. Yeah, yes, yes. I think. I, mean, you know, I think I remember. I remember. Yeah, but at, at, at the it's same clear time, you, you, it's clear you're not going to be able to do. The, you're not going to be able to do PT. Uh, right. Whatever it is uh, that it will, but I mean, if they were to license license Silent Hill, Silent Hill out, mm-hmm. I was gonna say Silent Hills because that's what it was going to But let's just say the Silent Hill property mm-hmm. out uh, to another company, um, maybe to the one that to the current company that's doing. Um, oh, what's that? What's that? I can't think of the name now. I'll look it up. Uh, it's, it's the the the. Son of a bitch! <laughs> not, I know. It's not called it's son a, of a bitch, guys. <laughs> son of a bitch too. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, I, I see what I see. What you're saying It's just I, 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 and I don't mean to sound the evil within. The evil, the evil within. within. Yeah, it was, it was to license the property out to the guys who are making uh, the evil within. You know what? I was thinking of that, but I was about to say alone in the dark. And then I thought, oh wait a minute, Alone in the Dark is not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, if, if it was to to give it to these guys, I mean, and have them, I mean, obviously Konami themselves won't have to do it. Uh-huh. Um, so I guess that's that's the uh, the line. Where's the line? Do they themselves have to be the one producing it, or can they bring or give the property I to feel, someone and say and and say, hey, make a proper or whatever? I this. feel that a a Konami comeback with. 2Ks, of course. The Konami comeback yes. will have to be them bringing, you know, the, the showing, you know, trailers for new IPs that they're going to bring themselves. Ooh. And it does, they don't have to be the old, they don't have to be uh, to, to go back and, and use their the classic. Although, it'll be nice to have, you know, like another Castlevania maybe, like in its normal you know what do you expect the Castlevania to be? Yeah, I know a Metroidvania. A Metroidvania, <laughs> yes. So, uh, but but uh, but we we won't see that. Uh, I, I I don't I, I don't feel uh, the last the last thing that they did with in gaming that was not their soccer game. Oh yeah, they, they, was, that's another game that they make uh, a good amount of. But money that's for. because they exactly uh, it was uh, Metal Gear Survive, which. That game in itself tells you everything you need to know about current Konami. 
the the laziness, the, the, the disconnect cash grabbing game. it, the disconnect with 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 gaming, the the let's use you know <laughs> you know the over, the use of the they use the name and then the assets and make something and then make something separate. and, and not, not in yeah completely uninspired completely yeah. uninspired it makes absolutely no sense with it uh, sorry it was uh, it was such an obvious cash grab. Uh, it is almost it's almost to the point of being an asset flip if it wasn't for the fact that they own the assets, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's because uh, Kojima couldn't take it, you know, with them. Of course, yeah. Uh, so so and and unfortunately, we say allegedly, you know, the with the weight with the weight of the treatment of of the employees Employee. and stuff so like that, mm-hmm. because we were we're not employed by Konami. To have experience of first person, but a lot of the a, a lot of the uh, of the of the things you you heard, including from uh, Kojima San himself, was that the company was just way too hostile. Mm-hmm. You know to, to, that there was so there so right there you see there's no passion, there's no love for games or gamers. We basically they are. <laughs> if it could be described as this, uh, worse than EA. In the sense that EA take advantage of us, we're just dollar signs to them. To Konami, we're not even worth that. The time, yeah. We're not even <laughs> we're worth not the even time. worth the, exactly the the investment of time and 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 and, and money to try to bring us any properties whatsoever because game because gaming is not where it's at. Uh, again, not to fault them because it's not like Konami is Bethesda and their only thing is games. No, Konami is basically, uh, well, the example that I gave, Virgin mm-hmm. and the moment that, or Disney, and the moment that Disney Interactive wasn't bringing good games to it, they just pulled the they plug. The pool, yeah. And we suddenly, we didn't start calling Disney evil. We didn't say, "Oh, fuck Disney." I'm well, still waiting for Star Wars 13, 13. Okay. <laughs> well, true, but <laughs> in, in in general, <laughs> Disney, because of the all the other properties and all the other things that they do, they're just a company. Yeah. So Konami right now is just a company. It's just that Konami that you and I and gamers know that name immediately evokes gaming, but that's not what the whole company is. And so far, sure, because it, yeah. It it was as far as we knew back in the day. Yeah, um, and it, it maybe it maybe it never was. You know, it's, that's like if Nintendo owned like department stores and <laughs> and, and stuff like that. And at some point, they decided to you know what this gaming thing. This you know that I think we're getting out of it. You know, we're not no more Nintendo games. No more. We're gonna dedicate to our LA Fitness that we own. <laughs> and, so if they were to make a comeback, what ga- other than Contra you already mentioned? What game do you want them to say? It's, hey, it's gotta be the obvious one because it's it's Contra, it's Castlevania. Castlevania. To me, those are the series that now it would be side scrolling. Yes, it will have to. I don't see any other way. Is not Castlevania. It's well, okay. That that's a little harsh because. Metroid Prime worked so well. True. That but I would argue that Metroid Prime worked well because the character had a blaster, which you can use in first person. Oh, yeah. A whip <laughs> in true. first person. That's maybe true. not so much. You know what I mean? so. <laughs> but hey, they can do God of War. Because that game almost got a war each and stuff. And it was not that the game was B- bad gameplay. It was just that it was a little boring. But the elements no, but of Lord it, of Shadow. Lord of Shadow. Sorry, <laughs> Castlevania. Lord of, Lord of Shadow. I'm speaking. But in general, that game was good. Lord of Shadow Two was apparently trash, so I didn't even care to try that one. But the first one was you know, was good. So yeah, if if we wanted to, because I'm not gonna say Blaze of Steel because that's not gonna happen. That'd be cool if you no, did, but that'd be remember. you know. <laughs> it's 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 we're past the point where if you don't include the team, the real teams, no yeah. one's gonna care. Yeah, so. that's that's a shame. Um. However, I would I would agree with that, and I would want to keep it side scrolling, and I would want to make it a little faster. Ah, okay. um, if there's one thing that you're going to notice when you go back to Death Cell says hi, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there so is. So we're going to start calling him 
Dead Sylvania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm saying you will notice. You will notice this immediately when you tr- when you start playing uh, Symphony of Night. There is the character obviously does not, and of course it's a vampire. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Alucard. Spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, he doesn't actually need to move fast, and the, and it worked for the way the game that the game was designed. However, in today's you know the way things work right now. Yeah, we're used to. Yeah, it, it it needs to it needs to flow and 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 move faster. And I would like to see a, a good Castlevania. Probably you know go back to you know Belmont. Uh, and needs to and, flow. Yes, I, I'm I'm not sure if I need the speed, but uh, but definitely you know definitely the flow. Definitely the the, uh, the 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 you know the designs and you know yes you can make a game that looks like a current gen. All, you know, beautiful, gorgeous game, uh, but but still keep it on that perspective. You know, I need the speed. <laughs> you need the speed. Yes, I'm, I need yeah. the speed. Yeah. <laughs> we all know you need. I got the need. The, the need so the for need. speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I, I, it's just, it just. I've noticed that, and and, and going back real quick, not to bring up Death Cells a little bit, but going back to Death <laughs> Cells, and then in comparison to the other one, Chasm, which is a decent game but the fact that it's just it feels like it's it's you're you're moving through molasses you know and it's like no and then throw in spider-man now <laughs> it's just like no i need to be fast you i know think I mean? I, I, yeah I, I think that might be just be the game the, the game is i don't know i i, I can i can envision i can envision like you know just a normalized castlevania with you know, nice animations and interesting level design oh yeah i can't even and a good story oh my god i can see such a good one made with today's version of those graphics yeah, yeah. oh yeah. my gosh um real quick before i go to some of the comments here what about silent hills were you never a fan of silent hills i, I see that it, and i don't have anything against silent hills it's just that i never played them none of them none of them oh, so, yeah, wow. I, was, was Simon fulfilled no Simon filter was sony sorry which one siphon filter was sony. yeah uh but there was a, i feel like there was another konami title that i also that was big that i also didn't anyway the you asking me about uh silent hill it, yeah it was that it was for some reason i just let that one pass i realize it's 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 great it's an awesome silent hill um the first and the second one were literally just they were oh sorry, sorry so you have your scary games right you have your horror games um silent hill knew how to get under your skin and never ever leave you comfortable <laughs> <laughs> at no point nice. um worse than dead space the first one wow okay dead space the first one you had ammunition. You had stuff that you can use. Mm. Yes, shit can jump out of nowhere, and the ambience of that game was tremendous and left you shook most of the time. Yeah. You could not wait to get back to that tram, you know what I mean, yeah. to, to move on to the next level. Here, it's like that, but it, you're even worse because you don't have ammunition. You, you're you basically like the first Resident Evils where ammunition was at you know, very, was, scarce. Was very scarce. So... It was such a well done game, and I can and and the the promise of what PT was mm. to take those crazy elements that was in there and to make a nice Silent Hill game, dude. It was it was all I wanted. I was like, man, I can't wait to not be able to sleep I, at night. I still have, <laughs> I have, I still have PT, and I have yet to play. <laughs> I have. Yet what to play. are you waiting for? I, I'm that? too scared. Oh <laughs> it's my like, god! Do it during the day. The thing is, the thing is, the way that they because I play scary, you know, you know, scary games like freaking condemn God <laughs> in that game. <laughs> but uh, uh, and and, and I realize some people are saying, ah, condemn wasn't scary. Well, it was scary to me. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was it was freaky uh, because it was so real. It was so believable. Like I imagine myself like. In the freaking I four I you know, at one in the morning, just by myself there, like, <laughs> what would that be like? That, that those visions will immediately just like freak me out. Anyway, um, yeah, the the, the because of, because of that, I, I play those games and, and and I'm okay with feeling uncomfortable and stuff like that. But it's the people the way that people describe this one, it feels like 
this is just way too scary. And for some reason, I haven't mastered it. Is, the, it is, the, it is, yeah, it is not. Um, but what is it that makes it scary? Is it, is it a jump scare? Because jump scares are cheap. So or is it, it something it, that it just looks so ugly no, that no, it invokes nightmares? So what was amazing about PT was it, it had everything. Uh-huh. It had your ambiance. Mm-hmm. That that little music, that little sound that just doesn't let you sit comfortably. Okay, so that's them. Um, Yeah. And it's also, uh, not Silent Hills. Well, yeah, the other Silent Hills, but um, uh, Dead Space. Okay. So it was the sound effects. the And then you can tell something was haunting you. Something was literally there somewhere haunting you. You can hear the sound. God, if you play this with freaking headsets. You will, that, that will that give you a nightmare. First of all, that's the way to play it. It really <laughs> is. But holy shit balls, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, and then, yes, it does include jump scares. But it's it's one of those things where it's... It's it's expected but not expected. It's mm-hmm. just like when it happens, you're like, oh, you you're literally trying to avoid it because you know it's gonna <laughs> happen, and then it happens anyway. And it happens because because you avoided because it. You, you know, avoided if you, it's almost like if you didn't avoid it, uh-huh. you'd have been fine. You know what I mean? It's, Wait, yeah. come back again. So if you avoid it, it's one of those things where you run into it and uh-huh. you and it, it's like you know that if you do anything in it, it, it move in any way. Uh-huh. Something's gonna happen because the uh, music, is, music is already kind of crescendoing to uh, this, you know what I mean? But then you're like, nope, nope, nope. I'm backing up. I can't do it, whatever. And then it hits, you know what I mean? And dude, what is, is I, it? Is I'm it not gonna a, tell you. You either gonna play. Damn, it. Man, see, <laughs> so, uh, so, but the funny thing is, uh, I remember finding out you I was, the, I was the the yeah, it was serious. It was serious. It was, I was, it was like, serious holy scare. shit! It was serious, dude. Watch just if you're not gonna play it, uh, watch YouTube about it. Okay. You, you see these people playing, and okay. you're gonna laugh more of their scares than anything else. Yeah. Just a full playthrough of of what it is. It is so amazingly done, and the amazing part is a freaking, it's a freaking a demo. demo yeah, yeah, it's all it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's genius. Maybe it's too much. It shows the genius of of Kojima, uh-huh. um, and what that what what it could have been, dude. I mean, oh my gosh, the Toro, I think, right? Also, Gemma the Toro was involved. Yeah. Um, and every pretty much everybody was involved with pretty much the, Death Stranding was this. The, the it was a baby yeah, from exactly. Death Stranding. <laughs> oh God, you better not have Demon Baby because I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna say nothing. Oh shit! No, <laughs> see, nah, I'm done. I'm not. All right, all right. Last, it, it's not like we want There's to. No jump. demon babies. It, okay, all right. Not, not that I want to 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 jump into the scary games as a topic of the week or anything like that. It's yeah. just a side that I just remember because I keep mentioning. I keep coming back to condemn, but it's, dude, is the the setting is at night. It is a rundown mall, like mm-hmm. the, like obviously abandoned. All you know. Come then, basically, well, haha. Yeah. Uh, and you're in the, this in this department, and, and you could actually go a little bit out of the mall. You need, you know, when you go out of the mall, you see like uh, you could tell that maybe it was Christmas around the time that they close it because mm-hmm. there there is the you know the skeleton of the of the Christmas tree the Christmas is there. Tree. And where all the pine needles have fallen off, yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. But the, the huge one that they tend to put on regular, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's like Fashion Square was deserted suddenly, <laughs> something like that. Well, well, and 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 on what kills it is the freaking music. Oh wow! And the music is just the type of Christmas music that they will they will put at department stores, but fucking distorted. <laughs> And going Ooh. and going getting evil, and then there's mannequins, and then you look the other way, and then you look back because you need to go, and the fucking mannequin is like right behind you, and you shit your pants at that point. You already <laughs> shit your pants because the fucking mannequin is right there, and when you try to run. To the other side, there's another mannequin in front of you, and now you're more freaked out, and then you turn to the side, and that's suddenly when you realize you're surrounded by mannequins, and you don't know how the fuck that they got there. I just love, I lost my shit right there. It was those, like, those that are, was the most scary part of any game that I have ever played. You need to play PT. So if I play PT, so so if that's PT me. Is, PT is basically, I mean, to complete it, Honestly, from beginning to the end to complete it, it's probably 
30 minutes or something like that. But it's going to take you three hours. It's 30 minutes of mannequins popping up. Oh, oh, no. I can't do that. I will, have a, I will have a heart attack. I will have a heart attack. Sir, I'm going to need you to get some heart pills <laughs> and do it. Uh, going to go to the uh, group. So Konami, um, yes. Yes, yeah, Konami. And uh, Gilberto, uh, Mr. Chaos Reaper, says, why wouldn't we want them back? Uh, we don't need them. No, he's saying, why wouldn't we oh, want why them wouldn't back? Yeah. Oh. What if somehow, some way, they reform? Not holding my breath or anything, but mind you, what if? Yeah. And that's and that's the question we're asking here. It's like, hey, man, if they can bring back a good, good old school Castlevania built from the ground up, side scrolling with some awesome. See, it, oh. we keep going. Well, we keep going to the. We keep going to the back to to the to old the type of game. Yeah. I, so I feel you want something new. I feel I want something. Let's if they do. I don't even care if they happen to do because they want to monetize. Okay, fine, monetize. Do a fucking uh, uh, futuristic life service type destiny clone something like that i don't care it's new it's from konami and it has it, it, and and it and it and it will have the love that they put well shit that the the, the love that they were initially putting on the metal gear solid games because we forgot to mention there was a the playstation era of metal gear of of of, of konami games was amazing too yeah, yeah it was not just the nintendo era it's just we like to romanticize the the nintendo era but playstation freaking uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, all the all the Metal Gears, amazing. Metal Gear Solid Three, dude. Dude, Metal Gear so Solid Four. I keep awesome. telling you, the best and the end no. of and the the Metal best and three. longest ending. <laughs> well, maybe not the best, you know, the best game, but definitely a payoff. If okay. you ever wanted to get a payoff after finishing it, was that? And, and I'm talking about beyond th- beyond three. Be- three might be the better game, but the payout. Of, of okay. Metal Gear Solid Fair 4 enough. it's exponentially better 3 was oh yeah no I know you would have see the thing literally you would, I would actually play 3 you again you would have loved 4 that's the thing if they will somehow remake it or something like that you would have loved because they did so amazing things with that game anyway so that's another thing that's Please bring back four because uh, I couldn't like. All right, so I missed it because it was early PlayStation Three and, and it didn't have trophies. At, no, at <laughs> five ninety nine. I was like, nope, sorry, PlayStation, I'm not going to pay for that. But if they can bring that back, oh, if they were yeah. to remake, up. maybe it's part of the no, no. I, maybe they could. I can stream it. I can stream it on PlayStation now. You should play it. Yeah, it's so good. It is. Yeah, it holds up. Okay, it's also anyway. The that, that's that's why I keep saying. You know, uh, go you know, make make new stuff, but make it with the with the intensity and the love that you used to make games before. Yeah. You know, fair enough. Yeah, uh, Giovanni says nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, short and sweet. Uh, que se mamo un bicho. <laughs> For, for those who do not speak Spanish, then look it up. They can go suck a dick. That's what that means, basically. Uh, but Gerberto does retort again. Said, then sell the IPs. Then sell the IPs. I yeah. need a new Zone of Enders. But the problem is they won't know that because they're using those IPs on the freaking Correct. Pachinko you sell game. the IP. But they're selling by Zone selling of Enders. The, no. or, or they're lending it or oh, whatever. They're, they're licensing doing. it out. Licensing, yeah. yeah. There's more money to be made in licensing than yeah, it is selling. So obviously, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then finally, Mr. Fariello. And let me get his whole entire thing here <laughs> opened up. I'm going to go right I guess to you the, have his own podcast. <laughs> he should. He should join us on this podcast. Yes. All right. The too long don't uh, didn't read version is still too freaking long. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of went off on the deep end on this topic because, you know, Castlevania is life. Castlevania is love. So this is for you, Grandpappy Arnaldo. Uh, would love to see them come back because of all their great classics. Uh, I want a new Castlevania, damn it. Uh, I love the anime, but it's not the same as the games. Lord of Shadow was God of War meets Shadow of the Colossus. Yes, it was. Uh, Indeed, <laughs> dude. Like soup to the 11th degree. Eagle left Konami in 2014, who is, who is known for being the master mastermind behind Castlevania uh, from Symphony, Symphony of the Night forward. Uh, he did his. Uh, he started his own company and is making Bloodstain yep. Ritual of the Night, uh, which I dropped three hundred dollars on the Kickstarter yep. uh, to get the signed collector's edition. Uh, I've played That's the demos awesome and game. loved them. Already have thirty hours on the newest demo. I love Castlevania so Damn. much. I quote it all the time on my stream. 
<laughs> Which, by the way, you guys should follow him. He's on Twitch uh, on Megasan. Are you a little miserable pile of secrets? Pile of secrets, indeed. Uh, I would love to see other games, too. I would love to see a new Contra or a remake of the first one. Uh, just imagine how it could look in today's graphics. I leave you with this. What is a David? A miserable pile of butthurt feelings. <laughs> but enough butthurt. <laughs> Have at you. <laughs> uh, I did not read that part. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Jason so fucking much. I do too. I'm not lie. <laughs> he Shout was, out to Jason. He knew exactly what I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> yes, well done, sir. Oh, well that's done. great. That's great. Uh, so, in essence, I think in short, I, I'm going to say I do want them to come back. I do want them to embrace gaming again. But realistically, they're probably not going to. That's <laughs> realistically. So, fuck it out of me. <laughs> in short, please get some of these properties out there. Um, I would love to see a new Castlevania. I would love to see a new uh, uh, Siphon Filter if, if, if that's their property as well. I would love to see. Um, I just, I mean, there's so many stuff, dude. I want to play Contra Alien Wars again. <laughs> Do you remember when we played? Didn't we play that? I think. We I played, think yeah, yeah, we yeah, did. We did play that. Yeah. Damn, man. We need to play that again. We need, yeah. We, we need, need that in our lives. We need, uh, and what is it with the? You know, we need all, the Konami code back. All the exactly, the, dude. The Konami code. We all, you know, gamers are oh, fuck Konami this and that, and but they still they the Konami code. Sure. We have the Konami code on our uh, uh, post, uh, our, our covers. Yeah, on our covers. On our covers. So That's right. That should speak to the. It's it's love amazing. That we have. You really think about how much we all. Well, when I say we all, I'm saying in general, gamers uh, immediately jumped on the fuck Konami bandwagon because yeah. of all the craziness. Well, because of the Kojima because of, treatment. Correct, mainly. exactly. Which, it maybe is justifiable, but not one of us can deny how awesome Konami yeah. was early on. Um, well, that's I, I think that's that one of the things that fueled the fuck Konami so much more is because yeah. you see this, this beloved company transform into this... Like hated, money yeah, grabbing, yeah, exactly, money yeah. grabbing. You know, don't care about, don't respect. You know, exactly, gamers yeah. don't even respect their employees and 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 their properties because they're using. I mean, Metal Gear Solid uh, properties or Castlevania properties for pachinko games. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, dude. You know what? No, fucking Ami. We don't need them. <laughs> I changed my stance. I, I still I don't even want faith. them. And Konami, uh, just make it happen. Even if you guys are not the one doing it, give it to Nintendo. They know how to fucking make games. <laughs> I mean, the only problem is then I got to get a damn Switch in order to play them. But still. <laughs> give it to Microsoft. Give it to, they, they could give it to Microsoft. Yeah, they need help, guys. Yeah. They need help. They'll pay for the license. <laughs> yeah, they will pay. They will pay good money for it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of an awesome real episode 126. This is Mr. Mad Dog signing off for this week. Mr. Santos. Uh, we already have a new Castlevania. It's called Dead Cells. Oh, oh. Dead Cells. Such a great game. Another one of the uh, game of the years. <laughs> Which, have you even beaten the second boss? Sir, we're not going to talk about Dead Cells, <laughs> all right? We're not going to try to talk about Dead Cells because I am dying to close this down so we can okay, okay. talk so about we're the gonna, next yeah, thing. So we're going to close this down for, uh, for this particular episode. Uh, we will see you guys next week. GG!